Hello! Hi. Hi! Welcome, guys. Welcome. It's Monday night here at Saving Throw Studios, and uh, this Monday night, we're going to be doing a very special edition of RPG Exploration Society. That's right. For those of you who don't know or don't remember, uh, the RPG Exploration Society was founded uh, oh so many years ago by our, our glorious founder, um, Lord Domwell Zookington III. Lord Domwell Zookington III was the original founder of Her Majesty's Right Royal uh, role-playing game Exploration Society, uh, dedicated to the cause of seeking out those new, exciting, and as of yet untested and unknown role-playing games and bringing them back to civilization. He would venture into the darkest of jungles to find them, but today we don't have to do that. We have the internet. So thanks very much, Lord Domwell Zookington. We continue on in your honor. We salute you. We do. Did everyone salute so him? You like yeah, you salute yes. him? Okay. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're right. Um, but tonight, it's a very special version of RPG ES because tonight we are highlighting a, uh, a very special Savage Worlds version of a game by the name of Puro 13. Stalking the night, fantastic. That sounds normal. Some of you, some of you, if you're if you are old school like RPG gamers, may have heard of the original version of this game from the '80s, I believe. But this is a brand new version, uh, skin to Savage Worlds, that is being done by the good folks over at the Rocky Mountain Savages, and uh, they asked if we would would share this with you this evening, and so we are. Um, you want to keep an eye out if you enjoy what we are doing tonight, because in September of this year, yes, in September, you heard that correctly. 2018. September 2008, what? 2018. No. This year. No, 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 no. Wait, are we? No, it's straight. It's, it's 2019. It's 2019. I was not there. They will be doing a Kickstarter uh, for for this new um, this this new setting. So if you are interested in getting some more information on that or being on their mailing list for when their Kickstarter goes live, you can enter exclamation mark B13 in chat to get the information that you need to go to their website and check it all out. You can even download this um, jump start scenario that we will be playing through tonight with the pre-gen characters. But having said all of that. You may not know who I am. Hi, I'm Jordan Caves Callerman. I will be the uh, the handler for tonight's game. Handler. I am oh, your I'm handler okay. this oh. evening, <clears throat> uh, and we will be playing in the Savage Worlds Adventure Edition rule set uh, as best we can, since it is still in PDF only form. So we do not yet have <laughs> nice physical books to reference at the table. Those are coming and in it's August. It's fine. It's fine. It is fine. It's yeah. going to be just fine. We're very excited. And we've got a great group of players for you this evening. So just real quick. Oh, we'll go, go get them. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's go get them. Let's <laughs> bring out that great group of players. Uh, so for now, just introduce yourself. Uh, we'll talk about oh. your characters in a little bit. Ooh. Let's go around the table so everyone can 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 see who you are. Why not? We'll start over here with the with the oh return God. with hey. the return of our prodigal. Yeah. Woo. He's back, baby. It's been a long, long time. Some brothers in the house. For those of you who have uh, only started watching our programs in the last year? Has it been a half? year? It's been over a year. Shame. Oh, wow. uh, I tried to get you on the ALZ from last year. Yeah, I know, but it's my <laughs> schedule is just... Uh, anyway, sorry. Uh, in any case, my name is uh, Nick Levy. You can see me on all of the stuff at, at Sungrowler, and uh, I'm really happy to be back. I'm very excited about playing this game. We're glad to have you back, Nick. Thank you. Right next to Nick, we've got... Hi, I'm Megan Caves, and you can find me on Wild Cards on Friday nights. That's what we're saying, right? Sure, okay. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that starts Friday. That's where you find me. Thanks wow. for reminding me. Very professional. This Friday. We'll jump across the table, catty corner oh. over here. Hey, everyone, I'm Ashlyn Rose. You can find me on Twitter, at Ashlyn Rose. Yeah. Oh, and I'm on The Broken Pact. Yeah. On yeah. here. So when that comes back, when you it can comes find back. Ashlyn. That, yeah. That's soon, though, right? Do we know yet? Do we have a date? Okay. Not yet. Ish. Soon. It's coming around back. Coming around yeah. the It's a blizzard soon, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's after season two of Shadowrun. Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, chummer. Even chummerier. Hey, there's a, 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 a sixth edition coming out for Gen Con. Wow. Who's excited? This guy is. Who is this guy? Yeah, I don't know. Who is this guy? Is this? Why is he excited about sixth edition of something called Hoy Chummer 2 yeah. Even Chummier? Hoy <laughs> Even Chummier? Come on. Who's hard. keeping track of this garbage? Hi, guys. Uh, my name is uh, Tyler Rhodes. Uh, 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 you can find me uh, uh, all exciting things if you follow me on uh, Instagram or Twitter. It's the same handle. Boring old Tyler. Boring, Boring old Tyler. Old 
Tyler. Right, it's all one word. Boring gold Tyler. Yeah, oh, yes. Or boring gold. Boring gold, gold. Boring gold Tyler. Oh. Digging for goo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yep. that's that's who we got tonight. We got a great we got a great group of people. They are, um, in case you couldn't tell, they are just chomping at the bit to get into this. But we have a couple more things we have to go over before they do that. Real quick, I want to say thank you to Griffin of Falcon Hollow and Bastion Feel for the resubs. Bastion uh, Feel. Thank you, SF Giants 49er, for the tip. And 12 Sided Guy, thank you for the bits. Thank you. That thank brings, 12 Sided Guy, I like that. that Brings us to you know all of this stuff. What are we even talking about? Covering the pally. Thank you for the resub. Twenty one. Um, we here at Saving Throw are an independent channel. Uh, so even though uh, some people, some businesses are operated with like you know a wealthy CEO that maybe like contributes seed money or something like that. <laughs> they get so no. CEO so yeah, a forget them. Yeah, or a shadowy cabal of people Ooh. pulling strings from behind the scenes. Yeah. We have neither one of those things as far as we're aware. Yeah. We are an independent channel, and as such, we are reliant on the support of our viewers. So if you're having a fun time, if you enjoy what you're seeing, and you want to support all of the cool things that we do here at Saving throw, including highlighting games like this that are going to be out and that are being created by very dedicated people in the gaming community, please consider tipping during the show it, uh, as BSB Care just did. Thank, Thank you very much, BSB, BSB Care. Care. Uh, it means the My world man. to us. It helps us keep things going. And as a fun side effect, all tips, uh, all cash tips and bits over 100 bits tonight go towards unlocking reward tiers that you are all working together in the chat to unlock that can have a sometimes small, sometimes large effect on tonight's game. Uh, I'm in for life. Me Thank too. you very much for the resub. And also Lady Amago. Thank, Thank you for you. the resub. Uh, to see what those are, you can Great. enter exclamation mark tips, or sorry, exclamation mark unlocks in the chat and follow that link. And then if you need the link to tip, you can enter exclamation mark tip. Uh, also, if you sub, resub, or give to sub like so many of these lovely people are doing, you can let uh, Dom know in chat because we got Dom behind the scenes tonight. No. What? He never giving it up for Dom and his beard. He never yeah. does. Uh, let him know who you would like to give a reroll to here at the table, and he will pass those on to that person. And then finally, wait, is that all the things? Yes. No. What? Finally. If you, if you don't want to, or you can't tip, or you don't want to, or can't sub or resub, but you're still enjoying what's going on, please do feel free to spread the word about the show. You can, uh, you can use the, the, you can tag us. We're at Saving Throw Show on most things. I was like, you can use the hashtag WildcardsRPG. <laughs> but you shouldn't, yeah, yeah. you shouldn't right. to spread the word about this show. Right. This is not that. <laughs> I'm just used to saying that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we I'm do appreciate kidding. you guys spreading the word if you like what you're seeing and bringing more people in to watch what we do here because we would do this anyways if you weren't there, but it's more fun that you are. So, on that note, let's let's kind of get a, a little bit of information about what Bureau 13 actually is. So, you all are agents of Bureau 13. Bureau 13 is, of course, a shadowy... Secretive, very secretive, so secretive a part of the government that everyone in the government doesn't even know it exists. And the purpose of Bureau oh 13 is to seek out and contain supernatural threats. That is, that is your job. Largely, all of the different Bureau 13 stalking teams function as cells that are sort of working independently until they receive uh, some form of uh, di directive from whatever command may or may not be, or you're just wandering the countryside, keeping an eye out for anything weird or spooky that might need some containing or stalking. Um, there are, however, some very, very important rules in Bureau 13 that every agent must follow. These rules are as follows. Rule number one, do not get caught. Oh. Don't get caught. Yeah. I mean, you, you obviously, from time to time, might get caught, but just know, if you are caught, the Bureau will not legally aid you in any direct way that will jeopardize secrecy or operations. But they'll still aid us. Just, uh, yeah. I'm just saying, Wait. that wasn't specified. That's all sure, I that's true. It, wasn't it was not specified. <laughs> Rule number two, do not leave evidence. You pass without a trace as Bureau 13. Ah. You are you are like Kaiser Soze. Poof. You are gone. Just burn everything We're down. a rumor. You're a rumor. <laughs> <laughs> Rule number three. Use violence only if necessary as an absolute last resort. I'm sure everyone follows that rule right. to, the, to the letter. Tell the girl with the katana. <laughs> <laughs> rule number four. Rule number four. Cover your tracks. 
You are, you are like, like we said. You don't leave evidence. Go ahead, say it. Yeah, we're you're, ghosts. You're ghosts. Ooh, you're phantoms. That is. You're specters. That's disrespectful. Really we'll get to why that's that is a funny yeah. joke yeah. here in a little bit. <laughs> that's that's yeah. foreshadowing. And rule number five: make bystanders believe a rational explanation for the bizarre make. or the fantastic. That is. You're gonna. This is a rational explanation, right? <laughs> Right. Guys, like Euro 13 predates Men in Black. Just yes, that's true. Just so yeah. you know this. That's true. The original game came out before the X Files. 1983. Men in Black. Yeah, yeah. This is so when it appeared in your friendly local alive. game store. Same. Ahead of its time. Um, we, we were alive though, right? Nick? Yes. Yeah. 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 The, uh, I saw other the other gentlemen at the table. <laughs> <laughs> You do not seek out Bureau 13. You do not find Bureau 13. Bureau 13 finds you. And that is what happened with every one of our agents here tonight at the table. Every one of you has been conscripted by Bureau 13 <clears throat> at some point or another. And though you have gone through, you know, the, the loosest sense of Bureau 13 training that they give, um, and you all have gone on one previous mission together, you are still a very fresh stalking team out of the Bureau. So you have one successful mission under your belts. I mean, that's up to you guys. I don't know yeah. what happened that last time you were out there, but I've heard things as your handler that uh, make me uncomfortable, let's just say. Um, but yeah, you guys all have a baseline knowledge of each other, so you would all know most of the following things about each other. And having said that, let's go back around in the order that we introduced everyone. Nick, tell us a little bit about your character. Well, today I will be playing Tim Marcius, who is a Dampier. Uh, if you're not familiar with the term, it was popularized in 1992's uh, movie Blade. Uh, it means I'm a daywalker, which means I'm a vampire, but one who is able to walk around during the day. You have a human father. I and do. And a vampire mother. That is true. Uh, and I bore terrible abuse at the hands of that uh, coven, uh, but was able to escape. And uh, do, 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 let's see what else it says. My mother has sadly passed away, uh, but I still have nightmares about the horrible abuses that I suffered at the hands of the coven. At the hands of your mother, or at yeah. the coven, or both? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes, it's not a nice answer. lady. Yes. But don't worry, you've been recruited by Bureau 13 to live a life of luxury and excitement. <laughs> yeah, right? uh, more more the latter than the former. Sure. In in that uh, sort of situation. So I put uh, the uses, uh, the, the skills that I have to use, uh, helping to wrangle other supernatural threats and entities, and make sure that <clears throat> other people are not victimized the way that I was victimized. And uh, fortunately, I do have, uh, in addition to my innate vampiric abilities, I have also a spellcaster of considerable talent and have learned things at the hands of the Coven as well, which uh, come in very, very useful for covering up our tracks. When we talk about your abilities, do we call them vampiric or dampiric? <laughs> I think that they would probably be called vampiric. Okay. Uh, it is important, I just want to highlight this at this point since we've already been doing it, but anytime you say the word dampir or vampir, <laughs> uh, it's important to do it with a, uh, a very... Um, Romanian? I was going to say exaggerated. Mm, uh, yeah. Eastern European non-specific accent. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I am a dampir, vampir. but yes. the powers that I have are vampiric in nature. Okay. Good to know. All right, and uh, right next to Tim. Hi, I will be playing Angelica Moon. I almost said Houston. I straight up almost said Angelica Houston. Angelica wow. Houston. Uh, <laughs> Angelica wow. Moon. Just straight up Angelica Houston. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she fell in love with football. Um, she's got, she's like a really normal down to earth person. You guys will learn that about her. But she likes football. Um, and she was attacked by a uh, the U the UCSC banana slug. So she was at UC oh, Santa Cruz. It was Cruz. the school yeah. mascot, but yeah. turns school out mascot. it was not a guy in a suit. It was not a school mascot. And she was attacked, and that <laughs> she ended up. Well, she ended banana up with slugs. this really cool thing right here. Ooh. That uh, I'm not going to do it right now. 
just because it's rude, but it lights on fire. Um, so spirit fire, spirit fire. <laughs> oh, this is totally the blade side of the table. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, here we are. Katana, so you yeah. got the dog here. <laughs> it's yeah. a cursed katana. Too. Also, I specifically bring long bladed weapons when I play characters to, because everyone at the table loves it. <laughs> I just yeah. okay. We all love uh, it, and none of us fear for our lives. No, no. no one does. It's okay. I've done some stage combat. Uh, yeah, I think that you know pretty much covers who she is. She's she's a sports lady with a katana. I think it's interesting to note that the katana is cursed. Okay, fine. Yes, it is cursed. <laughs> it's cursed katana. It is cursed, which it, um, <laughs> it gives you bad luck. It gives me bad luck, but if I uh, attack somebody with it, I might steal some of. I mean, I guess in in the in the uh, game, I'd like steal some of their luck, mm-hmm. basically. Yep. But it works with bennies. It does. She's very excited about that. Bondo, thank Steel you very much bennies. for the tip. Yes, well, thank no, you. Underscore, underscore, underscore. I, I think that's good, though. I, I, can you guys, is, is, is the everything? picture of Angelica, does that scroll through? Because you guys should see how, like, v- vicious, normal, I mean, she is with her helmet. And it's just like, a, is that a football helmet? It is important yeah. to note that Angelica yeah. is wearing a football helmet and football pads. And pads. Yeah. yeah, That's yes. her armor. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Uh, yeah, uh, maybe we should have mentioned this earlier. Uh, The tone of Bureau 13 is horrific, macabre, but also very tongue-in-cheek. So if that sounds appealing to you, man, have we got a game for you. (laughs) Um, Over on this side of the table, we'll jump over here. Ashlyn, who are you playing tonight? I am playing Philippa Taggart, a.k.a. Pip. Uh, She is a human. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, perfectly normal human. Perfectly right. normal human as well. Don't be suspicious. Um, you know, she went backpacking through Peru uh, during the camping trip. She was oh, yeah. savaged by rampaging her of chinchillas. It happened. Savaged. Yes, she was the lone survivor. And oh the God. next full moon, she transformed into a chinchilla. So what? sometimes I get hair in places, and yeah, she's she's not the most outgoing of the group. She's definitely more of like the one who goes kind of like secretive in and out type of thing, but she, she's, she's trying her best in her little fuzzy world. And she's gained uh, in, in the intervening year some measure of control over her uh, her chinchilla of <laughs> transformations. Uh, so you can switch between yes. a human form, yes. a chinchilla form, and a half human, half chinchilla form. I think has the most practical uh, ability, or what is the word I'm looking for? Applications. Yes. The half human, half chinchilla? Uh huh. Yeah. It seems like it might interfere with a couple of the rules that we established earlier for Bureau 13. <laughs> <laughs> it depends where you are. <laughs> I guess that's true. Yeah. When in Rome. So is, is she a were chilla then, or what, what is the, what would be the. Ooh, were chilla, chirwilla? Chirwilla. Chirwilla. Chin Chillaware. I, mean, I like chillaware. I believe that the technical chinchilla-ware, term chinchilla-ware, is chinchilla. where chinchilla, but whatever what where Pip chinchilla chooses to be called. <laughs> Their um, chinchilla. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Um, that is entirely up to Pip. You know, maybe maybe Pip has a new cool name for it that no one's ever heard of before. Uh, and Jemethis, thank you very much uh, for the sub. 18 you. years. Oh, yeah. Last but not least, right here. 18 yes. years. I was like, wait, years. Wow. Amazing. Oh, I don't have wow. my glasses on, so I'm just like trusting yeah. everything you're saying. Yep. 18 Jemethis years. Says years. Thank you, Jemethis. Yes, thank you it's... for thank you for your adult human uh, <laughs> amount of support. <laughs> Last but not least, Tyler, who yes. are you who are you portraying this evening? Thank you, Jordan, uh, for asking the question. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, tonight I'll be playing the character of Alex Alexander Kuznetsov. Uh, Alexander Kuznetsov is a dead man. He is technically a. You're dead, Alexander. You're dead. I have perished. Um, uh, Alexander died in 1983, and in 1995 he came back to life. Now Alexander is not familiar with uh, that sort of time period, so he missed. He missed Chernobyl, he missed the, the Perestroika, he missed the rise of Gorbachev, he missed the fall of the Soviet Union. Uh, all these wonderful things uh, in, in Russian history, uh, Alexander was not around to be a part of. And so yeah. he manifested himself in 1995 in uh, rural United States of America and began, 
I guess, wandering around, uh, uh, doing spirity things? Yeah, most ghosts are sort of tied to a particular location or, or object, maybe. Uh, mm -hmm. Alex doesn't yeah. seem to have any such uh, no. limitation. And and he's he's got, he has the wanderlust. Um, he's a, he was a very inquisitive boy. He, uh, uh, he learned English uh, by sort of just eavesdropping on uh, conversations. Um, and eventually his, uh, his confidence grew and uh, he started interacting with people more. And I, well, well, what, uh, what, uh, this is a question. Um, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Maybe it's a question that I have to answer myself. Okay. What, the, the existence of spirits mm -hmm. is, is not widely acknowledged as, the, as well as the existence of uh, where chinchillas. Correct. Okay, so, so these, these are things This that, is our world. Okay. We got it. Yeah, our so, modern yes. day world. Uh, uh, got it. Uh, and so the 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 wacky things. Th this is all going on under the surface. Leave no trace. Yes. Yep. Got it. Okay. Leave no trace. You can't. You you always have to give the the general public a rational explanation, lest they topple over the cliffs mm -hmm. of insanity, and cause a nationwide or worldwide panic. Yeah. You are the thin. Supernatural line. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh -huh. feel, I feel like your character is the character that Mirko would have really liked to have been. Oh yes, oh, yes, Mirko. Yes, rest, may he rest in peace. Oh, um, also, an interesting thing about Alex: uh, in life, you were latently psionic, uh, not even really fully aware of it. But yeah. now that you're a phantom, uh, your psionic abilities have finally fully manifested yes. themselves. Yes, wow. they have manifested. He is, he's able to uh, both, uh, he, he, he sort of has the powers of Patrick Swayze's ghost, mm -hmm. uh, whereupon he can, he can travel uh, <laughs> through walls and do crazy, goofy things, and, and when he does the, the, you know, the mad trick, he can interact, but it, it is not a sure thing. Bitten um, by a radioactive Patrick Swayze. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so Alex has spent most of his time, um, you know, a, a traveling, learning, um, uh, playing little practical jokes. He was also not around for the rise of Yakov Smirnov, uh, who was most active between the years of uh, 1983 and 1988. So I'm wondering why you chose to highlight that. Oh, no reason. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it's not important. Is it perhaps that Alex has invented a really amazing joke format? Yes, yes. No. That, that, a joke format that has its own Wikipedia article, if you would believe it or not. Oh, boy. That format, that specific format, popularized by this hack comedian. Uh, okay. I have been trying my hand at it, and I'm getting better. So uh, <laughs> it's a recent discovery of mine. I wasn't around for Yakov right, This right, is why right. I have to explain this. Right, right, right. Did but I'm trying. Want us to go through our hindrances and and edges? At nah, all? just no? play them. Okay. 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 All right, <laughs> just ask it. Um, so uh, for those of you who are watching who may not be familiar with Savage Worlds, don't worry. Not every everyone here at the table has a different level of uh, familiarity and comfort with Savage Worlds. So as things come up that may be confusing, we'll talk. About them. We're, gonna, we're just going to throw it out there. It's a, it's a very chill atmosphere here at the Saving Throw Studios table. But on that note, we're going to hand out some bennies for everyone. Okay, I was going to ask what's a benny. Yes, bennies <laughs> allow you to do very, very uh, many things in the game. You can spend one of these to re-roll uh, any roll that you make. Uh, you can spend one to automatically unshake in combat. Almost any roll that you make. Yes, almost any roll that you make. You can spend one to automatically unshake in combat. Don't worry about what that means. We'll get to that if there's a okay. combat. Um, you can spend one to regain power points. You can spend one to draw a new initiative card. You can also spend one, if you want, to exert some small manner of narrative control over the game subject to your handler's discretion. So you could be like, oh, you know what? I did remember to put a back, uh, a flashlight in my back pocket before I uh, woke up this morning. Got it. Somehow in your sleep you did that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with it as long as you justify a it. A lumosynobulist. Yeah, there you go. Is that on anyone's character sheet? Is anyone a little uh, uh, some, Maybe a printed or? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it has to be printed or else it doesn't uh, count. So uh, in general, everyone gets starts a game session with three bennies. So unless you have any hindrance that affects your bennies, which I don't think anyone but Angelica does. I also have. You also have, okay. I have Nightmares. Uh, nightmares oh. actually works a little bit differently in this. I oh. printed that out. Uh, nightmares is this version of Nightmares from okay. Bureau 13. Oh, sorry about that. That was what the top of my head sounds like. Uh, yes. so I do that all the time. Pip, there you. are three bennies for you. Alex, Alex three bennies for you. Angelica, two bennies for wah, you. Wah, wah. wah. 
And Tim, three bennies for you. Thank you. And then I get one benny for each one of you. I hope we're going to this school. It seems like our kind of place. Nope, nope. <laughs> wow. Largely coincidental. Huh. All right, and then before we get started, let's go through some of these uh, these rerolls that I'm going to be handing out. So the way rerolls are going to work, since bennies are already a reroll, you can spend one of these rerolls just once per roll. So you can reroll it with one of these. If you want to, you can spend your bennies to keep rerolling it after that, but you can only spend one reroll per roll. Okay. Griffin of Falcon Hollow would like to give one reroll to the table. Thank you. Bastion Field would like to give one reroll to Nick. Oh, oh thank you. nice. Woo. Or Tim, I should say. Uh -huh. uh, Lady Imago would like to give one reroll to Alex. Hey! And I'm nice. in for life would also like to give a reroll to Alex. Hey! hey. Yeah. Feels good, man. Kavren the Pally would like to give one reroll to Pip. Ah. SF Giants 49er would like to give one reroll to Angelica. Ah, thank you very much. And one to Alex. Hey. And Jemethis would like to give a reroll to Nick. Hey. To Tim. We are set. Yeah, this is going to be easy. Also, you guys have already unlocked the first two tiers. The first oh one oh, wow. is called Howdy Agents. And since you guys are new agents, you're 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 pretty fresh. You need all the help you can get. So oh. so Ooh. all of all of the uh, all of your the the shadowy <laughs> government people that are monitoring your behavior behaviors uh, saw fit to award you all an extra Benny oh, hey, at the I'm beginning of the game. So there's Hi. one for Pip, there's one for Alex, there's one for Angelica, and there is one for Tim. Thank you very much to you shadowy people out there. <laughs> And then also the next tier has been unlocked, which is called Free Pass. What, really? But don't worry about what that does. <laughs> I want a free pass. It's not important. Can it's not it important. No, you can't. Damn. You can use it in Damn. the hall. This is free. I know, right? All right. Free hall pass? Having, yes, a free hall pass. If any of your characters are in a relationship, it's totally cool with your significant other. No! Oh my god. <laughs> All right. So, on that note, let's that jump into tonight's session. The time is modern times. The day is July 5th, which is a... Is that a Thursday this year? Oh. Boy, I'll tell I you. I no idea. I think it's a... Wait, wait. It's not modern times. It's the future. It is a Friday. Oh, that's right. It's, the future. it's a Friday? Friday. July 5th. 2018. Friday, July 5th. 2019. And um, <laughs> you, you four are traveling in your uh, bureau-issued RV. Your Colorado RV. This is a... Uh, these are holdovers from when the Bureau had a lot more uh, financial flexibility back in the 70s. So this RV is the top of the line 1977 Colorado RV available to you guys. Uh, well, it's been tricked out a little bit with just a couple just very minor details. Uh, it is an amphibious vehicle. <laughs> it has nitrous oxide which allows you to uh, really ramp up the speed. There is a self-destruct function cool. on the Colorado Perfect. RV, and it does leak oil. That's not uh, on purpose. That is an not accident. A feature. That is not a feature. That is a bug. Yeah. Yeah. However, really it's actually just a malfunctioning oil slick. Yes, it is, because you do have an oil slick oh. in the back of the of in, in the RV. It just doesn't plug up properly anymore, so it just yeah. kind of leaves a little trail of oil as you go. And you can't get the part because it's just more expensive than it would be to just buy a brand new RV, because it has to be custom uh, yeah. produced. Yeah. yeah. You, you also have smoke <sighs> grenades that you can shoot out of the rear of the RV. <laughs> And uh, the front uh, has a turret that can shoot out well, various different oh, yeah. gas canisters. Oh, okay. Knockout gas, vomit oh, gas, I mace. Did not mm -hmm. think about it like that. Fart what gas. kind of ga gas canisters yeah, were you just thinking? Just a gas canister. I was like, how many different kinds of gas? Oh, like, <laughs> does anyone, oh, need, does anyone need some yeah. petrol? <laughs> shoot it, shoot it! <laughs> This one's top grade. <laughs> uh, so you guys have been traveling around for a while in in the RV. You had your last mission. We don't I have just to realize how much this is inspired by stripes as well, oh. which would have been era appropriate. Right in the uh, yeah, right in that correct era. <laughs> there we go. There's that there's that crucial stripes connection for any of you <laughs> in chat. We're like, I like it, but can I connect it to stripes? <laughs> Um, you've you've been through you've been through the ringer once with each other, and you all came out the other end. Um, but I, I do have a couple questions for you guys uh, about your your previous mission. We don't have to go into details. I know it's a little bit fresh. Mm. Uh, 
did everyone make it out of that mission alive, or was there originally a fifth agent Niet, part of Niet. your group? There was, there was fifth. There was yeah, John. John? John. God. R.I.P. John. Boy, he was boring. He was so boring. <laughs> he was, he Last was, name? He was Smith. Bo- John Smith. John Smith. Bo- boring old John oh, Smith. Boring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, what was his, like, special thing that we he never, did? Yeah, it learned. never came up. Yeah, was he human. was he liked yeah. to read? <laughs> he liked to read yes. like John Grisham novels. He, yes, he was, yes, he, he, he was, was actually, reading the firm. He, he was actually talking about how he was a trainer and he was going to you know mm-hmm. get all of us up to speed and okay. be able to use all. I of had our, my doubts about that. Very though. very well at the highest level. Okay, so this I did right see. after we finished this one mission. Sure, yeah, <laughs> I, I did see uh, one bit of uh, of a surveillance tape. It, it appeared that the, you guys were in a bit of a tight spot. John stepped out. I, there was no audio on the on the tape, mm-hmm. but it looked like if my lip uh, reading skills are correct, he said something like, "All right, time to show him what I've got." And then he was immediately shot in the head. Yes, I believe. Yeah. Um, yes, he took foolish yeah. risk. Okay, yeah. So yeah. Uh, never really got to figure out what it was that John could do, mm-hmm. and now you probably never will. But yes. uh, hey, he, he will be missed. But he was very bad at his job. <laughs> okay, super bad agent. He deserved everything that came to him. So. You guys are all in the RV. Been on the road for a little bit, just just driving around, waiting for something to present itself or for s- some communique of some kind. <laughs> so, um, what is the what is Keep the... your eyes peeled for supernatural activity? <laughs> That's basically what you it's do, gonna, with Spiro. It's happen upon you at any time. You guys are sort of in Stay the uh, in the northern Midwestern United States. That's that's sort of the uh, the little glob of region that you're uh, just driving around in right now. South Dakota? Uh, uh, no, a little bit further north. Okay. North Dakota? Maybe. <laughs> what um, is north of South Dakota? <laughs> mm, who has a map? What is the general setup in the RV? Who drives, and then while they're driving, uh, where? what's everyone else doing in there? Where do we find you all in the RV this afternoon? Um, On this, the day after the anniversary of the birth of our great nation. Sorry, Alex. <laughs> oh. uh, I that think, is okay. I it's mean, my adopted nation. <laughs> I think Angelica probably helps out where she can, but whenever there's a free moment, she um, pulls out her... She's got one of those mini, like, TV things, mm-hmm. and she, she just has, like, some antennas, and she tries to get different stations as the, we're driving through. So she has a, like, ni- late 1990s yeah. mini TV <laughs> thing? Yeah. Yeah, that she can travel. That tracks. And she's always... <laughs> the little dial to change the channel, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. The and kind you used to see dads at theme parks <laughs> holding yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and she's always looking for the game. <laughs> Mostly the yelling game. at the TV because it's very hard to find the game. She's looking for the game. What is Angelica's sport of choice? Just she likes all of them? football. Okay. Any football. Any football. Whichever way you want to go with it, yeah. American or international football? I mean, it's football. That's football's true. Football. Football. Football's football. All right, so you help College, out when you can. NFL, Pee Wee uh, League, like if their ones happens to be Just going to on. don't wear the jersey of the team you like. Okay. What is your favorite football I position? I like forward one. <laughs> That's yes, the, that is my favorite as well. Right? Linchpin That's position of the thought. team. <laughs> uh, so Angelica, you're maybe sitting on the on a uh, an, an old and worn paisley print bench in the RV, trying to find the game on mm-hmm. your TV. What 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 time is it? Oh, it is uh, it is early morning. Early, okay. early morning. Yeah. And the sun is sun's out, guns out. <laughs> it's beautiful. Well, the reason I'm asking is because I think, that, of grain. I think that Tim usually drives at night mm, or when they're driving away from the sun. Okay. Uh, because it's difficult to concentrate when that giant ball of hate is blazing in my face. Sure. And uh, it, I mean, it doesn't make you burst a light like some of your kindred. No, 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 but it gives me just this awful headache that just makes everything more difficult to, to deal with. Okay, so uh, at this point then, Tim, you are probably not driving the RV. So well, unless we're driving west. Um, well, you can be. You tell me. Do you want to be driving west and driving, or would you rather be doing the thing you do when you're not driving the RV? <laughs> well, I think, uh, I think during the day, part of that is probably sleeping. That's true. I mean, I do walk around, and I can walk around, but since most of the time it is not pleasant, I tend to have... Uh, night owl hours. Cough it up. And, uh, 
Well, it's very hard to fit a. That is a stereotype. Oh, I'm so sorry. I do not want to. Yeah. I wasn't alive when these things were discussed. Von, vampires sleep in coffins. Uh, yeah. Vampires can sleep in uh, you know whatever you know contains them most comfortably. Mm. So right. coffins just, don't just fit. because I like to use a mummy bag <laughs> and be very confined does not mean that I have to use a mummy bag. That is Tim's and choice. And you will notice that it is very clean. There is not a speck of the dirt of my homeland in that bag at all. Really? Not even a sachet. The dirt of your homeland. What is that a reference to? A vamp. It's a vampire uh, that, yeah. thing. Oh. Oh, is it? They have dirt of their homeland in the coffin. Yeah. I'm learning new things. This is very exciting. So, um, do you want to be driving, or do you yes, want to be I in your mummy bag? I. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be driving. It's it's coming up on the end of my driving shift. As sure. We're, so we're, we we're we are heading home. west away from the sun. We're heading west away from the sun. Okay. But but you know noon that 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 most fearful time of day. Oh, it's dreadful <laughs> for Dom Pierce that are driving RVs. Uh, is is on the horizon. So you're driving, just keeping an eye out. Uh, what about uh, you two? Where where might you be in the RV currently? Um, I think Pip usually likes to kind of like make a little nest of like jackets and blankets in the passenger seat. Okay. And kind of like just hang out there, feet up on the dashboard, just keeping whoever's driving awake, asking all sorts of questions. So you're not in chinchilla form in your uh, in the front seat? No, okay. I'm in human form. Okay. But, and I also usually have like in our stock, we have like a salt lick, but it looks like a popsicle. Okay. And I just kind of like- A salt lick? <laughs> Be careful with that thing. Oh yeah, that's true. Alex does not like salt, which you which you know. So you keep this yes. away from him, yeah. or maybe you don't. So that's your decision. Yes. Um, so you're I'm not touching you. <laughs> you're up front, uh, keeping keeping Tim company. Yes. Maybe maybe asking him uh, any number of questions about things going on while you while you noisily slurp on your salt lick. <laughs> and then Alex, yes. where and how are you in this? Where argument? and why and how is Alex? Explain this to him. Um, Alex is Alex uh, has a an old school uh, uh, early '80s Walkman uh, and a selection of cassette tapes. He's currently going through uh, his his funk stage, um, so he is he is uh, he is blasting uh, uh, Grand Funk Railroad's greatest hits. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna edit that slightly. Please, I'm gonna edit that slightly because I believe that this is what you died. Uh, with on you. Yes. This is the one ghostly, one of your ghostly items. Um, but how, however, when is. you died, you had a cassette of Grand Funk Railroad stuck in there, and that is the only cassette you can listen <laughs> that to. Is mu- that is much better. <laughs> that is much better. In the- yes. Just fall, right out. fall but, right out. But but there is there is so much going on with Grand Funk Railroad. I mean, there's not just the melody. There's a bass player. There is a guitar player. A drummer. <laughs> if you just listen to the drum. It is, it, is, it is music in the ears, You explain literally. this every time you play that. <laughs> I know. I wish I could give you my headphones, but they are permanently attached to my head. I'm glad that you can't. <laughs> um, he has a tendency to talk about all of the nuance and subtlety of Grand Funk Railroad, yes, but yes. you're all pretty all sure he's just time. trying to convince himself that there's a reason to keep listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. yeah. Some red shirt. Thank you very much for the reset. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Um, so where are you in the RV? Uh, so uh, in the RV, I'm, I'm around the middle of the RV. So maybe across the, the way from Angelica on her TV. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. uh, across the way from Angelica and uh, as far away from the Salt Lake as possible. <laughs> sure. Uh, and uh, just just sort of uh, journaling uh, 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 in my head because I'm, I am a student of the world. Okay. Um, and uh, gazing out at the uh, the grassy plains of the North Midwest uh, region of the United States, mm-hmm. and uh, waiting for action to strike. Sure. Preparing myself mentally for the inevitable uh, cataclysm. And do you do everyone the solid of trying to make it look like you're sitting um, I somewhere? Do. Or are you just sort of like floating amorphously in the <laughs> middle of the RV? No, no, I, 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 I try not to make things weird. Um, it requires too much explanation and people get freaked out. So uh, so I I, I I give myself the guise of a human who is sitting normally in a chair. But if you look, you see there's like a little space between here and here. <laughs> Uh, uh, but, you know, I, I, I take on all the affectations of a normal human person. I like so to imagine sitting. if you get distracted that eventually yeah. you'll still hold the same position, but you'll just float completely yeah. away. <laughs> yes! Or like yes. sink a little <laughs> bit in the chair. Right, and, you know, like something's going on outside, I'll just leave my head out the <laughs> side wall. Yes, there's nothing out there. Yeah. 
Uh, so you guys have been driving uh, for a little while, and it is coming up on time for the shift change, Tim. However, as you are driving, you see the the old rusty antenna on the front of the RV suddenly start to mechanically just push itself out, screeching and squealing against all of the rusted metal that's built up around it as it goes. Uh, <laughs> I think we've got a I think we've got a, a situation. And as you Computer realize that, from deep oh, within computer. the cassette playing tape deck of the RV <laughs> comes the sounds of No, it's an eight track. Uh, this one was a cassette. Oh, this okay. one was actually oh. a little bit future tech future, at the time. No, yeah, no, they were ahead of the time. Fine. Bureau 13, they used to have cash, man. Right. Um, it looks like a cassette deck, yes. but from within, from within it comes the unmistakable sound of a dot matrix printer firing up. Oh, However, this dot matrix printer is printing out things to the tune of Oh Sherry by Steve Perry. Oh, Sherry, baby! <laughs> As it starts to feed paper out of the cassette deck, you're always kind of unclear how and why this happens because the cassette port is only that wide, but it's a full sheet of paper, so it comes out crumpled mm -hmm. and sort of like split up, but it starts printing out. This is yeah. indeed an incoming transmission oh from your handler. Mm. Oh, Pip, could you could you yeah, take care of that oh, and read it? I got it. All right, so you, you it goes through, like gets all the way up to about the chorus and then it stops and <laughs> it allows you to pull it out. You sort of smooth it out and written on it uh, in dot matrix printing is attention, mission. Details are as follows. Head to Walnut Creek, Ohio. Possible sightings of unknown creature. Discover, explore, contain. Directions are coming in following transmission. Oh, John would have loved Ohio. Yes, it, Ohio was right? perfect to John. He's always talking about, about he wanted to he get, did. get that house and settle down. It's unfortunate. <laughs> right. Visiting Ohio, going to a Bengals game. Ugh, John. He was the worst. And as you guys are talking about John, the cassette deck fires up again. Now dot matrix printing to the tune of Safety Dance by Men Without Hats. <laughs> as it prints out a step-by-step -step map quest style series of directions to get you from where you currently are on the highway Ooh. to Walnut Creek, Ohio. Turns out, in the amorphous northern Midwest area you are, it'll only take you a couple hours to get there. Though this is good. So that's Perhaps we'll convenient. burn some nitro on the way. However, there is some bolded text at the bottom of these uh, of these printed out MapQuest mm. style instructions. It reads. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the rules. Use document preparer to prepare cover oh, identities prepare. and proper documentation. Was that part of one of those rules? I don't remember I don't, that rule. Yeah, I don't, it seems long. Wasn't right? rule number one like don't don't eat after midnight? Uh, you're thinking of the gremlins. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes, you are right. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was also a rule. <laughs> well, I choose not to eat after midnight. Because those gremlins, or those are all. real. In the other time. Yes. That was a documentary. <laughs> really? I well, believe it. It, I believe anything now. It, 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 it was an exaggeration to cover up the actual event, is what I heard. I was not alive when the Gremlins were released. <laughs> I had to read about them on the Wikipedia. Oh. <laughs> You're so proud of that pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. Well, well, I want to bask in that for a moment. Uh, some red shirt would like to give one re-roll to Angelica. Oh, hey. thank you. Um, so... Everyone give me a common knowledge roll. So you should have a skill underneath your smarts uh, ability oh, no. that is common knowledge. Oh, I'm very um, bad. You're going to do a minus two to this one, uh, nice. Alex, because you were dead at the time. <laughs> Look, so uh, you're just, you roll the you other d6 as well, yes, right? Yes, exactly. Oh. That's, oh, yeah. I have no knowledge. All right. I okay. Take the highest, right? You're gonna take the highest, and then you need at least a four to succeed. So what did everybody roll? A five. A five? Two. A two. Three. A three. Three. A three. Okay. So you guys are like, right, you're all you're all looking at this. Yeah. It was kind of John's job to like get the you yeah. know communications. <laughs> oh, he from loved the reading. Yes. Yeah, and then like he always seemed to know what they were talking about, but you guys have no idea what this document preparation thing is in reference to. Except for you, Tim. 
you were always a bit more uh, watchful uh, when when John was going about his business. You have to be. Yeah, you, you have to be. I mean, you can't you, trust John. You never know who is going to betray you and cage you and uh, try and sacrifice you in a uh, vampiric coven uh, arcane solution to bring about the end of the world. So you got to keep your eye on, on everybody. Yeah, yes. in, that's in very Soviet true. In Soviet Russia, many people were exiled to Siberia. Yes, they were. <laughs> I'm working on this! It's very important to know. Um, and you remember uh, that John, once before on your previous mission, uh, he took the time while you guys were using the bathroom and getting snacks at a gas station to print out documents, falsified documents and cover stories for all of you using a device that he stored uh, mm. in the upper storage compartment back in the RV. Mm. Uh, if you recall correctly, it looked a little bit like a cross between a typewriter and an old-fashioned slide machine. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember that one. So you're pretty sure that is what this message is in reference to. That's that's what the document prepared is. Um, uh, okay, I I I I think I know what he, what what the message is talking about, guys. Um, oh. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. And I open up the compartment and move aside the. Have you parked the RV? Yeah. Oh gosh. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just going to stand up and start walking back here. BRB yeah. highway. <laughs> Put it on autopilot. It's under cruise yeah, control. Yeah. What could go wrong? <laughs> Button's broken. Yes, I'm sorry. I will pull over. Okay. Because uh, we probably are going to need to change directions as well. And I yeah, you want probably to, will. Like you know, get a face full of sun. Sure. Yeah. Um, hold, hold on. Um, I think it's back here, and I'll walk back to the compartment where I think it is. Okay, and there's a bunch of, like, weird compartments tucked in and above the windows back here, and they're all just rattling around all the time. They're all filled with, as far as you can tell, a bunch of useless random <laughs> junk. Right. Uh, all of it just looks old and kind of worn down and not entirely functional anymore. Yeah. But <clears> after <throat> a little bit of searching, you do indeed find... Uh, oh, wait, uh, be behind these wooden tennis rackets. Uh, 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 they don't uh, even fit... Is that what those are? The wires are broken on those. Uh, <laughs> you find it. It is a wood paneled machine uh, that does indeed have what looks like uh, ty largely typewriter buttons, although it does have a, a couple of vertical rows of other strange looking buttons with different designs on them, and then something like a, a slide wheel on the back of it. Uh, this is what you use to prepare your documents. And examining it for, for a little bit, you see that some of those buttons over there uh, seem to indicate, like, this is a driver's license. This is a birth certificate. This is, like, there's different kinds of documentation uh, that you can print out using this somehow. And you're looking, you find what looks like an on switch, and when you flip it, another little antenna <laughs> just kind of comes out of it. Thank you very much, Kaga, for the reset. Thank you. Thank you. So... What sort of documents do you think we'll need for this? Well, look, John was always going on about how the first rule is don't get caught. Right. And if we do have any sort of an encounter with the law or with anyone we need to talk to, it's probably best not to use our actual identities. Right. This is true. So that we have deniability. <clears throat> that, that they can just disappear into the wind. We can disappear into the wind and they'll still be looking for John Q. Smith. May he rest in peace. Everyone give me oh. another uh, common knowledge roll. <laughs> and this one you don't take a penalty to, Alex. Oh, all right. Does not not so good on this one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and also, if any of you ever roll double ones, let me know, because that is a critical failure, uh -huh. and that is bad. Okay. Uh, four. So, four. Uh, two. Two. One. One. Six. Six, okay. Ooh. And, uh, oh, did you roll a six? Oh, no, sorry, three. Yeah. Oh, so you actually, that explodes then. Oh, so anytime roll you roll the top uh, number on your die, Ooh. you get to roll it again. Just the one, though, right? Mm-hmm. Oh. No! Oh. Roll it again. <laughs> the intelligence on this one. That's so smart. Four. Okay, so that is a uh, 16 altogether, <laughs> which is a success with three raises. Every four points above what you need is a raise, which typically gives you better uh, better results. So um, you remember that, yeah, you, John did give you guys some documentation before. I, you think he printed out, you're pretty sure somehow he had like fake license plates for the RV that he put on there. Yeah. Uh, and then you guys had like ID and like a couple other papers. You remember this intimately. Okay. Because John uh, made sure that he, I, he, he, he was like, listen, agent, I need to itemize all of these. You are going to need to learn at some point okay. which bits of information you need to falsify. License plates, 
photo identification, occupations and backstories, any official paperwork connected to those occupations and, and backstories as needed. Oh. Make sure that your occupations and backstories are mundane, boring, and believable. Sounds like John. You can you you can hear Something him. Something he would say as though he was right? still here with you instead of back in that random junkyard with a bullet wound through the front ah. of his skull, rotting in the sun. <laughs> yeah. Hello, you know, John. There was a reason we were all cowering at the time. Right? <laughs> Ooh, some trapeze guns. artist. Who wants to be a trapeze artist? That's one of oh, the that's one of the really? options here for occupation. I trapeze mean, artist. trapeze artist, uh, stand up comedian <gasps> is another one here. Uh, oh, um, oh, you oh, can oh, also oh, customize them and make your own. <laughs> what if we're just like a whole circus? So we're all, you know, like you're the stand up comedian. I will, oh, oh, yeah, I would make amazing stand up comedian. I, I think there's a circus tab here. I think it was supposed to be a little bit less conspicuous. All right. Wah, so, wah. <laughs> well, in, in Soviet Russia, there are many circuses and circus acts. Right. Because there are a lot of gymnasts well, and performers yes. in Soviet Russia. It, it, I feel like maybe I'm doing these wrong. But but we are we're we're in uh, America, and there's really only a couple, so it might not might not be a great idea. It this does make sense. I feel like the circuses I've been to, there's more than four people a part of the circus. But at least three of those people are Russian, yes. My cousin Svetlana was a contortionist. Actually, in, in this area of the country, so it, there's a lot of French Canadians. Really? Yes. This is very strange. Yeah. <laughs> Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> okay. Yes. Maybe you've heard of it. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no he actually. was dead at the time. It was a bit before and after my time. So. All right. So at this point, you guys have some time to come up with your new mm, identities right. and your uh, your any any official paperwork and IDs that might be needed by those. I mean, do you all think I could be like Angelica Noon? I just don't really know well, how to come up with no a different name than the one that you have. Well, I switched the N and the M. Hmm. Amgelica. Oh, Amgelica. Amgelica. Well, no? this would make it easy for you to remember because it is very right. similar to your real name. That's what I was thinking. I think it might be too similar, though, because if right. other people don't remember exactly, they're going to stumble across your actual name. You're right. That's the point. Yes. What about your favorite football team? <laughs> yes, please right. tell us your favorite football team. Sooners. The Sooners. <laughs> That's right. Angelica's a big fan of college football. <laughs> or if you could name yourself after your favorite football player. I or, or coach. Or coach. Right. Yeah. I, I'll, you're right. I'll be... Uh, or historic football trophy. Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Great coach. <laughs> Coach, coach Jeffrey. Jeffrey? Coach Jeffrey? Best coach you'll ever meet. This is good. Sorry, I thought Great Coach was the last name. Heisman. Jeffrey Heisman. So, Heisman. I guess at this point I should ask, um, Angelica, do you, uh, do you normally use female pronouns? Yes. So are you going to be trying to uh, transform yourself into no. a male Jeffrey or no. no? Women can be named Jeffrey. You're right. It's 2019 or 2018. I forgot. I mean, I've <laughs> met at least one a, a female identifying Jeffrey. Okay. All right. So you're going to be Jeffrey Heisman. <laughs> yes. Uh, and what is your what is your uh, occupation? Lawyer. Lawyer. Lawyer Love. Jeffrey Heisman. <laughs> Very mundane. Okay. Right? Excellently. Though. They're everywhere. Yes. Lawyers. Uh, what about what about everyone else? So so you've got you, yes. pretty much you've got your stuff uh, printed out, and and as you're sort of dictating this information to Tim, and you're typing it in on the typewriter, again the dot matrix printing noise comes up, but this time it doesn't sound like music. You're not really you think something might be wrong with the printer Ooh, in the, in the cassette deck. Yes. Uh, this just dot matrix prints perfectly laminated, uh, <gasps> nice neat documents out really? of the back. How Did, interesting. I, does anyone like refill the paper or? What, how does that work? Uh, I mean, you know, that's Mad, John, John, John had, that. had, had <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That, this yeah. is John's area of expertise. <laughs> yeah, he was going over. He was going to go over maintenance later. All right, so we got one identity down. Jeff, yes. Jeffrey Heisman. <laughs> Jeffrey Heisman. <laughs> Jeffrey else? Heisman's companion, his travel companion, uh, is Boris Yeltsin. 
and he is a no. What? No. Uh, um, Sorry, <laughs> my my cousin was named Boris. Yes. No. I and I, I had totally... a dog named Yeltsin. Right. Um, historically, there was a very well known Boris Yeltsin, oh. and you might want something a little less conspicuous. Mm. Well, this, is, uh, this is true. This is true. How about Yakov Yeltsin? Okay, Yakov Yeltsin. Yakov Yeltsin. <laughs> I need to have some way to explain what I am told I have an accent. Now, so, so Yakov Yeltsin, you said, was uh, Jeffrey Heisman's traveling companion? Yes. In what capacity? Traveling companion. Well, um, uh, they are old college buddies. They played the football together. Uh, Jeffrey Heisman was forward one. Was that the position exactly. that you said? Yes. Yep. And uh, uh, Yakov was forward two. And they would <laughs> yes. score the football game right. uh, touchdown uh, points together. We did every time, always together. So we'd throw the ball back and forth and score the touchdown points for the good teams, and we would win the games. Every time. Yes. And I became a stand up comedian. And I am a lawyer. Yes. And this is uh this is a great uh, backstory. I just have a couple questions. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um <laughs> please doc matrix printer. Question the first. <laughs> Where exactly are you going to keep this documentation? On my per ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interesting. And secondly, um no. what are you gonna do about the whole ghost thing? Yes. This is a very interesting question. Well, th this is this is why Yakov travels with his lawyer, mm -hmm. his lawyer holds all of his documentation. Ah, all Correct. right, yeah, that's great, that's great. Yeah. Correct. And then I, I, had, I suffered an injury in the war, the Great War. John yeah, uh, paper. does doesn't like to touch things, right. mm -hmm. so <laughs> won't open doors yes. or shake hands yes. or. Germophobiac. Yes. Germophobiac. I believe that is what the word is. Yes. Absolutely. I'm still it. new to the English language. Um, and and as I recall, John had a solution for the whole ghost thing uh, on your last mission that he oh, introduced to you. Was it? Right. Remind me again. Was it like some sort of weird like makeup kit or or what was it? Did it like was, a rubber mask or? It was a large trench coat, I believe. That I would get very angry and would lift off the ground and would cover me completely. Okay. All right. <laughs> I have to be careful not to put it too high because then it would look like a blanket and then I'm back to being a ghost again. Oh. Right. And you don't want that. Right. Don't want this. It's, it's, and it has, a, like it has a, a scarf that is sewn into it, so it's still one piece that mm -hmm. kind of like covers up the lower part. Yes. Yeah. Hollow Man style. And little, a little like... <laughs> You, you can't really even see them little tabs that hold like a fedora on there, so it's sort of like a little <laughs> <laughs> fedora trench coat <laughs> scarf. This, one, all all yes. one unit. All yes. one unit. All one this unit. is exactly this is and it is part of my stand up routine. Uh, I go into great detail. And and you've had some practice keeping this on, and yeah. most of the time it works. Right. Yes, exactly. I just have to get very, very angry and it lifts off the ground. Okay. All right. So we got two identities down. What about you two? Who are, who are you going are you to be in Walnut uh, yeah. Creek? Okay. I am Penny Gray, and I'm a dog walker. <laughs> Penny Gray, a dog walker. Yes. Okay. And uh, that, that, that seems like a pretty good background. I mean, you just need your ID. You don't really need any you know formal paperwork saying you're a dog walker. Um, but it does occur to you that at some point someone might want to know why you're traveling in an RV with a lawyer and... Uh, her best friend from college, who is now a comedian. And a comedian. Mm. And a food blogger. <laughs> she walks our dog. Yeah, I walk their dogs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. You walk their so dogs. We're going to pick them up. Right, yes. And we, they need to be walked immediately yes. when we arrive at our destination. Right. And this is, uh, this voice in your head, by the way, is just, uh, this, is Agent, this is Agent John Smith going down the line of questions you're going to need to be right. prepared to mm -hmm. answer yeah, yeah. from the distant Here. echoes of your memory. <laughs> I can feel him with us. All right, so Penny Gray. Penny Gray. Dog walker. Yes. To the lawyer stars. And then, Tim. Uh, I am a... Uh, Thomas Jerger. I'm a food blogger for Jerger's Burgers. Okay. And I uh, travel the country and I sample the uh, finest American style uh, food that there is, the the humble hamburger. Okay. And cheeseburger. And so that, uh, you know, you've probably seen my blog. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, it uh, was amazing. I, you're pretty sure that the voice of John Smith in your head uh, has not seen your blog. He didn't seem like the type. 
But he did say he was going to try to wash it at some point. Right. I recall. Right. Yes. He was. He, he kept saying, "Oh, the the Wi-Fi was bad, or you know, didn't didn't his phone needed to charge." I think if you had transcribed it into book form, he would have definitely read it. Probably. Probably. I yeah. I, I should be working on that manuscript. Yeah. In the burger book. And uh, uh, yes, I wear uh, I wear these glasses that are cosmetic. Only. Okay. Okay. That's a good disguise. Oh, yes. So Works for Superman. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you guys print up your IDs. You print up uh, license plates for the RV, and you're very unclear how those get dot matrix printed out of this <laughs> machine, but somehow they do. I believe. Uh, local Ohio plates, even. You try and you go go through Ohio, the state. Um, Buckeye. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, Buckeye. Yeah. That's you just didn't yes. hear it because yeah. I mumbled a little. Yeah. And uh, does that seem like Their state bird is a uh-huh. Yep, yeah, that's the one. Yep. <laughs> the famous. Um, does that seem like everything you guys are gonna need? You feel you feel pretty. Photo pretty ID, the the license plate, backstory, occupation, and um, I may have missed one. Yeah. I mean, I think we've covered. It. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like sort of the vibe of your stalking team has been like backstory. We're all pretty good at thinking on our feet. We'll come up with it in a moment, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, we have good improvisational skills. That's why the bureau found us and put us together. Exactly. Clearly, they could see that we because had... of your improv. Yeah, because thinking. of our improv skills, they, they could recognize talent. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. We should start an improv troupe. Like on the weekends, well, we could travel, cool. make some extra sad money. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't think there's a rule about that. So, I don't think so. You as all very interfere. Yeah, very quickly you review the five rules mentally. Uh, <laughs> right. There is nothing about not forming an improv troupe to make a little money on the weekends. So I think you're in the clear. <laughs> <laughs> so let's put that one on the back burner so you guys can come up with a cool name. Um, and you, so you're not going to be driving anymore, right? It's getting. No, it's it's getting a little bright. Yeah, getting a little bright. Yeah, okay, I'm so actually gonna try and uh, <clears throat> catch some Z's before we get into you take take a nap before we end up uh, where we're going. Sure, I can drive. I can't find a game anyway. Oh no, the game. <laughs> the game. <laughs> the game. At least it's not the big game. Um, so if you, it was a big game, we would not be here right now. That's true. I'll, I'll get up in the shotgun position. Well, here you okay. go, Angelica. I mean, Jeffrey. Thanks, uh, t- Thomas, blogger. You're, uh, you are a blogger. I got a right. jerker. Right. Um, Burgermeister. Right. I think this is going to go really well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and where are you uh, in the... If if, oh. if Alex has taken your seat and you know you're not allowed to have your salt lick anywhere near Alex... <laughs> I'm going to, like, bunch up all my blankets one by oh. one, <laughs> take my coat <laughs> and mosey onto the corner, like, behind the driver, probably. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll just chill. All right, and you guys uh, start following the dot matrix printout of step-by-step instructions and directions that will get you to the town of Walnut Creek, Ohio. Mm. Time passes. <laughs> and uh, while time is passing, I'm going to award a couple things here. Uh, Savage Ooh. Billy GM would like to give a reroll to uh, Jeffrey. Oh, oh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Thank you, Savage Billy. And Jeffrey Escape Box Wilson. Games would like to give a reroll to me, oh. your handler. Oh. Hey. So I see you. I see wow. you. Right I'll just uh, I'll just put that right you're, there. Escape, gonna, you're our handler, so that must be good, right? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel very confident about this. Okay. As well, you should. Everything Ooh. is coming up top. Boom. So it takes about two hours for you guys to get to Walnut Creek from where you are in. Northern Midwest. North Dakota. Right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> to the west of Ohio. Yeah. yeah. The great state of. Is it Nebraska. 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 Um, you see, it's a it's a small little sleepy foothills town uh, in Ohio, and you you see it as uh, from a distance as you're driving in. You see the sun shining off of what looks like uh, some some lakes back back off in the distance behind the town, and the town is is sort of haphazardly festooned in uh, patriotic decor. 
Um, did did, did well, anyone kind of... maybe take uh, time to like l- look up anything about the town on the way here on your on your smartphone? I tried to or... do it while I was driving. Mm. I, everyone yelled. Yeah, me. I was sleeping. You were sleeping. I listened to a couple of songs and analyzed them. <laughs> okay. And I came to some great conclusions of information that I would like to share. What's your favorite Grand Funk Railroad song? And not their hits, like the B side yeah, yes, that you really well, enjoy. I mean, this show us your real fan. Fortunately, I have the greatest hits uh, uh, album, but. I mean, even as a true fan of Grand Van Railroad, I must say that even their greatest hits, some of them are not so great. Um, but I have to say that my favorite one is Keep It Funky, uh, which is, one. is one. sort of, it's one of their lesser known, it was a single that they released uh, in the late 70s. And it is got a crazy beat. <laughs> I was focusing on the drums in my last list. Right. So that's what Alex is doing in the front seat. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, is, that is my that is my preparation. So uh, would, would... I would have probably been on like internet, just kind of like browsing around. Okay. Uh, give me a, <laughs> With a research yeah. role. <laughs> give me a research, research role. So I don't know if you have the skill research, know, know, know. but if you don't, no, I do not. So let's just make it untrained. Oh, so no, that's going to be a d4 minus two, and you're going to roll your uh, wild die with that. Okie dokie. Mm, got it. Got one? All right, great. You're going to subtract two from this. All right. Four plus one, five, three. Oh, so you don't add them together. You're oh. going to take the highest of the two. Four, and you rolled a four on the D4, so that explodes. You get to roll it again. Goodness. Ace. Four. And again. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, this is Ashlyn. Four again. So that's, well, that's, a, a, one. that's a one. That's a one. <laughs> okay, so that's Almost a nine a minus two, which is a seven. Yes. So that's that's a success. Almost a success with a raise. Um, so you look up a little information about Walnut Creek. Um, uh, the town is uh, is is a very small town and always has been, but it's kind of been known for it become known for its its small town charm, and it's become a bit of a local tourist destination. And they do have a big Fourth of July celebration. Every year, and as you as you look up as you guys are driving into the town, <clears throat> that that checks out. They still have streamers and flags and banners hung up all over Main Street. Uh, however, uh, everyone who is currently awake and currently looking out the windows, give me a notice roll. Four, four, six, six. Is that what? Did you roll your wild die too, there, Alex? I always forget. Oh, I, oh, you aced oh it. I, aced it. I aced it though. Shisha. Ooh, eleven. Eleven. Two. Two. And then you are still still asleep, uh, Tim. Uh, has the RV stopped? No, no. the RV okay. is still crawling into town. Okay. When the RV stops, I will probably that will probably wake me. Okay. So uh, you rolled a two. So um, Pip, you are currently still looking through the Wikipedia article for Walnut Creek, and uh, did you know yeah. that the population of Walnut Creek was six hundred and ninety-seven people? That's an interesting fact. Mm. Um, you got a four. Uh huh. So there's a lot of like trash and stuff around on the streets. Uh, you get the impression that it's like they had their 4th of July event, but no one like picked up afterwards. Alex, this is you are paying attention. You notice that as well. Yes. But as you are looking around, you also see that there are a uh, a few people out and about. Like, this is like what would pass for the main street of the town. Uh, it seems like every street that you've passed so far is named after a different kind of fish. Um, this is the main street, and there aren't a lot of people out, and it's like 11 o'clock on a Friday. Mm, yes, July uh, So 5th. maybe people are at work, but uh, maybe people, you maybe they're still recovering from the 4th of July festivities, but the people you do see out and about seem on edge. Mm. And you, you notice a lot of them are sort of like casting, like, Suspicious looks around, and many of them eye the RV as it as it pulls in and down the main street, and then just sort of look away and go about their business. That definitely strikes you. You guys, do you think this is like a Bigfoot thing? Like we're gonna find Bigfoot because there's like there's uh, lakes and and, and and trees. If I remember correctly, I believe Bigfoot was more of a Western United States phenomenon as opposed to a Midwestern type phenomenon. Right. Well. We can hope. <laughs> but perhaps it'll be some sort of cryptid creature. Ooh, all right. We can only we can only hope, but we should probably go and ask these folks. Where do you want to park the RV? Um, in that parking spot right there. All right, so you pull into that parking <laughs> just spot. Just in the main drag. Right over there. Okay. Uh, just street parking on the on the it's main street. Enough. 
<clears throat> and then uh, what are you are you gonna roll for something here, uh, Tim? I am. Um, so uh, as the as the RV, you know, sort of comes comes to a rest. Uh huh. I wake up and oh no, I'm you seeing you wake up from your I wake up from my from my, my Dom my Garrick nap. rest my nap. hungry uh, and actually just have a, a kind of a brief. Uh, I rolled a four, so I succeeded my on your, vigor, my, on your nightmares roll. On my nightmares roll. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. Oh, actually, it's a D eight, but anyway, I succeeded. Well, still, and that's fine. you had. You, <laughs> You did have you. It, it, you it, were circling the unpleasant dreams that you tend to go. Just into. getting into the really bad part, and then uh, woke up just in time. So I'm uh, have no penalties for that for that nap. Nice. All right. So uh, you have pulled over into that parking spot right over there. You are now awake. You guys have arrived in the town of Walnut Creek. So perhaps we should go into the general store. Brief me. Stores. What's what's the deal with this place? Did we get anything else on the? They're super messy. Yeah, they're like real trashy. Uh, okay. Everybody here seems to be a little, I would describe them as being on edge. Oh. Casting mm. sideways glances. Uh, they seem to be, I would say, scared of something. Is that abnormal for a small town like this? Well, I think so. Yeah. I don't know. Do you share the information yeah. about them being a tourist location? When I was looking them up, it seemed like, you know, they were a big hit for tourism, so I don't see why unfriendly, if it was unfriendly, why people would come What's, here. What is the big tourist attraction? Um, it is... Well, there's the 4th of July festival. <laughs> yes! Uh, and then there's also uh, a lot of fun water recreation in oh. the Tri-Lakes area. Yes, mm. it's Walnut Creek, obviously. It's Interesting. Just... White oh. river well, like, rafting, uh, uh, apparently. Water skiing and the like. Things yeah. you can do on a lake. Well, you can rent all, a boat. If all these people are normally friendly to tourists, which I imagine they are, and they seem on edge, this sounds like this might be our kind of place. Yes. That is very strange. We should go in and speak with somebody to uh, see what the local events are. What about S split up and meet back here in an hour? <laughs> Split up? That's a great idea. Oh. Wait, wait. <laughs> so before before you guys even step off the RV, um, I, I think it's important for us to just, what does everyone look like? And in what way are you minimizing the weirder aspects of your appearance, if any? I'll start. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm wearing a, uh, well, I'm going to attempt to, uh, 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 wear a fedora pulled down low over my eyes, a scarf uh, uh, wrapped around my neck region, and a loose hanging uh, overcoat. Okay. Uh, uh, that uh, that reaches to the ground. In summer in Ohio. In the summer in Ohio <laughs> on July fourth. July fifth. Uh, July, July, sorry, July fifth. <laughs> um, uh, uh, yes. Okay. I, I have the Hollow Man outfit. Okay. So you take a look at your trench coat rig, mm -hmm. and a deep breath. And in your head, you're like, you can do this. You can do this. You've done it before. You can do it again. You just gotta, you just huh? gotta focus. And put this thing on. <gasps> so you're making a spirit roll. Yeah. And it's, you rolled a six. I rolled a six. Which is a success. Yeah. So ah. you you concentrate. You try and get angry. I think that's what <laughs> yes. you said. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's so, a focused rage. Yeah. What do you think about to get you angry, Alex? Oh, many things. I think about um, oh. hangnails and. Um, uh, 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 poor people and um, uh, in uh, social injustice. Um, I, I, I think about um, uh, nacho chips, but there's no more cheese. Oh, and you're no. just eating a tortilla chip. Oh. No, Did I'm you... eating nachos. <laughs> Where's the rest of the cheese? Who hugged all the cheese? And as you're remembering that one terrible day with those nachos, and cheese, oh. you suddenly oh. feel yourself <laughs> regain some loose bit of corporealness, uh -huh. and you're able to. Reach down and put on your uh, fedora, <laughs> scarf, and trench coat rig, and it, for the time being at least, is remaining in place. DJ Regular, thank you very much for the time. Thank you, DJ Regular. See um, So you guys see um, Alex is suiting up. Is anyone else uh, uh -huh. getting into anything? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I figure she figures she can't wear her helmet, so but she does have like a big bag that she carries, so she can carry around her katana. Like a she, sports duffel bag. Yeah, and cool. she puts the sports helmet bag. in there. But she's gonna keep the shoulder pads on because she's gotta be safe. And so she's thinking lawyer, and there's a few like 
you know, extra costume pieces that we carry around just in case. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's an tracks. oversized jacket that she can get on over her uh, shoulder pads, and she feels like, you know, that's what lawyers wear. She doesn't have any, like, nice pants, though, so she's got those sports pants that are black but have the two, like, white stripes down the side. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so that's very sporty. Great. So it looks like you're wearing an exaggeration of a women's power blazer from the 80s. Uh, and athletic pants. Yes. Yeah. Cool. And tennis shoes. And holding a giant black duffel bag. Uh, anyone else go need to do anything to go incognito? or? Um... Uh, not not so much. Um, Tim Tim's about 5'10". Uh, slender and uh, fairly pale. Like, um, t Tim is from uh, San Francisco and so has the, the, the kind of um, uptown dress that really goes over well in smaller rural areas. Yes. Uh -huh. And um, <laughs> yeah. in, in uh, his disguise as a food blogger, he is also wearing a scarf, but he's wearing one of those really pretentious uh Cashmere. Yeah, cashmere scarves, uh, you know, sort of loosely wrapped around, and then uh, has put on sunglasses uh, to try and help deal. It doesn't work, but it psychologically feels better to deal with the uh, with the overpowering sun. <laughs> okay, mm, yeah. all right. Oh, and then probably a, like a big floppy hat. Okay. A big floppy hat. Yeah. To okay. keep the sun's harmful rays yeah. off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Right. And then uh, what about Pip? Pip is going to be wearing like a skater dress, something that's easy to kind of like lose when she needs to transform. Okay. And then flip flops, because those also usually, we what? have like an entire thing dedicated to flip flops that I usually lose. Okay. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what is a skater dress? It's a kind of the... outfit that you can lose really quickly if you need to transform. <laughs> okay. into, Got it. From a human into, <laughs> say, like a dress. A chinchilla. <laughs> Yeah, but it's like the kind of dress that a skater would wear. Yeah, 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 yeah. That they could just whip off at a moment's notice, like skaters do. You've seen it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've yeah. seen it. Okay, no, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Silly question. You'd know it if you saw it. I know. Yeah, yeah. I have to Google that. All right. Um, and so you guys are, are going to step off of the RV and into the town of Walnut Creek. Mm. <clears throat> so we are. I think we're on the main drag then. You are downtown. Downtown Walnut, downtown Creek. downtown Walnut Creek in all its glory. Yeah, uh, well, this town's got everything: a diner, a movie theater, a sheriff's station, is a bait shop. Those three things. <laughs> oh. No, it does. Yeah, it has a. You know, maybe over by the water. Not sure. maybe not in the town proper. Mm. All right. Do we want to split into two into teams or? Uh, yes. Or uh, I'll go our own ways and meet back well, in an hour. What I is say it, we split into two-person teams. What is it that we want to do first? Maybe we should talk to one person first and then figure out where our two teams can go from that person. Well, we don't want to overwhelm anybody with our strangeness. And, and... I, I mean, we're not that strange, are we? <laughs> no, no, but we, we need to be careful so that we don't raise too many alarms. So if we were to split in smaller groups, it might be less intimidating for people. Either way, oh, Lady Amago, thank, thank you very you. much for the tip, yeah. Lady Amago. Um, so, <laughs> a large bang goes off uh, on the main street. Uh, it seems fireworks? like fireworks. Yeah, it seems like someone has some leftover fireworks. However, if I remember correctly, one of you was a little bit jumpy. <laughs> oh. Is that accurate? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, Pip. All right. Like... So, Pip. Um, as this loud explosive noise goes off in the sky above you and, and a, 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 you know, somewhat dimmed in the midday sun shower of bright red sparks goes off, I need you to give me a spirit roll, please. Oh, great. All right, where is that? Spirit is one of your major attributes. Perfect, thank you. Do I do the both the dice? You're gonna use the wild die as well. Come on, go pip. Oh, yeah. Ooh, every, every roll you have yeah. exploded. A uh, six and a two. Call attention to it. A six and a <laughs> two. Rolling. So an eight. So that's a success with a raise. Woo! Fine. <laughs> you keep it together. It goes off and it kind of goes. Swallow Wah! that fear. You, you squeak a little in your throat. Yeah. <laughs> um. And then as that happens, uh, you, you notice a couple other of the 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 very few and far between townsfolk kind of kind of jump 
uh, on street on the street and look around and one uh, a couple people grumble and uh, an elderly man down the street sort of shouts at those darn kids yeah. for, for continuing to set that stuff off that was his the king. turret right and didn't malfunction no again. no oh, okay. not not this That's, time I don't think goodness. this was us no one no. around you on the street is blinded vomiting or <laughs> not unconscious so you're pretty sure it wasn't Smelling the turret toots. well you know the gas might have expired too we don't know <laughs> it's true did we remember to lock the van and uh, it would not be my uh, responsibility. I mean, I can, I just go beep. I'm sure we've like installed some crappy like auto lock now. You did not. It's the 70s, so it's like okay. attached by a wire. <laughs> I'll go and, and yep, yeah, that's, that's locked. Super locked. <laughs> Good. All right, so let's say um, myself, Yakov, and Jeffrey split into one group and then um, You're, Thomas sounds and like I, I, Penny. Sounds like I'm with Penny. Penny. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Split Penny. into a separate right. group. Very good. Yes, Very good. Sir. Uh, Thomas. Myself and Jeffrey, we will go to the uh, diner. Yeah. Perhaps. Yeah, I like, I like that idea. Oh, actually, it would be more appropriate uh, yeah, for was, our burger aficionado friends. Uh, right. That, I was, I was going to check out the diner, I thought. And then, so Jeffrey and I can then go to the movie theater. All right, they've got popcorn. Oh, yes. They do. All right, uh, everyone, popcorn. everyone give me a notice that. roll. All right. You bet. Turn. Five. Notice me, senpai. Thank you for the bits. Yes, thank you very much for the bits. Right. Uh, Ketamon, Ketamano first so and cool. Rocky Mountain Games. Ooh, Ketamano. Ketamano. Ooh. Oh, there's nice. Nice. right there. I, I also aced, so. What? Nine. 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 What did you get? Kind of oh, I got a five. A five. Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Seven. Seven. I am a noticeable little boy. Okay. <laughs> so, um, all of y- all of you feel distinctly that you're being watched. Um, it's it's not an entirely subtle feeling, uh, but but you feel it constantly. Um, you two. Notice that the townsfolk who are walking on the side of the street that you've parked the RV by are pointedly not looking at you. And some of them that very clearly need to go past you to get to where it is they need to go are pulling out their phones or inspecting very closely the items in the dusty window displays on Main Street. Hmm. Uh, There are definitely some people nearby that are studiously ignoring you all. Interesting. I want to walk up to one of them. And say, uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm <laughs> looking for the <laughs> oh, finest burger in town. Goodness me, yeah. you oh. you startled me. <laughs> oh, look, oh, you you must be uh, 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 strangers in town, a tourist from. You're late. Uh, the Fourth of July festival was yesterday. It's the Fifth of July. Of a, we had a little bit of a, uh, a breakdown on the road oh, and no. uh, just had to. But we come all this way, so oh, we just thought that we would uh, check out your your uh, fantastic little town. Mm-hmm. Well, you just had a firework go off, so it's oh, hi. oh, there's so, more of you! Yeah, so, Great. So we we haven't missed everything. No, oh yeah, they're still they're the teenagers going around lighting off the things of hither and thither and uh. right. Well, I'm Jeffrey Heisman. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Thomas, <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, um, um, uh, my name's I, Edith. Hi. I'm Edith. Van. Wonderful. Uh, okay, all right. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm looking in the shadows. You know, we, we've been driving a really long time. I am famished. Where is the best place to uh, get a burger here? Um, well, uh, she looks around like she's looking for anyone else that she can pawn you guys off on, but every everyone else has taken advantage of, of Edith's uh, confrontation with you to make their way past you and, like, keep moving down the... Um, uh, well, I, we, we're, we're a small town, uh, so, uh, you know, since you missed the festival and, and before you, you get on your way to wherever it is you're going, uh, you could always stop by... Ruth's diner, but they might be closed. And maybe Ruth took the day off uh, since it's the oh. day after the fourth, and the fourth is a b- pretty big holiday well, for right, us. Which is it's done now, so there's really right. nothing to no, see that, here. That's true. Are 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 you busy? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd love to buy you lunch and talk about uh, your your town. I am unfor. I am busy. Oh. I am unfortunately. I'm uh, oh. 
Oh boy! On your way to look at the sun. I um, I was I, actually try not to actually. Um, <laughs> oh, my complexion. I burn very easily. Oh, I see. Uh, well, my niece sells Rodan in fields. <laughs> if you're, and then she just sort of catches herself. I mean, well, uh, <laughs> if... that would be lovely. Could 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 we meet her? Oh, no. Uh. Is the tourism <laughs> just on the 4th of July and you guys just are kind of rude to everyone at all other days of the oh, year? Oh, rude? What do you do? <laughs> well, it seems like you want us to leave. Is well, no, 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 of course not. No, uh, it's just... It's all, there's nothing really that happens here until the well, fall harvest apple listen, I thought you had, celebration. I thought you had wonderful river attractions mm-hmm. by water rafting. And it's summer. Yeah, it? fishing yeah. and, you know, we'd, 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 we'd rub quite a lot. Water enthusiasts, are we? A little bit. Uh, among, We've yes. got lots of money that we're going to spend here in your town. Which is good for good. Itself. Yes. Do yes, you do you do you own a business? Is there some place we should uh, me pop in on? No. <laughs> <laughs> what 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 do you do? Oh, you know I'm retired. I'm a <clears throat> homemaker, and me and Gerald just living our lives, just trying to get by. So not making waves. <laughs> right. That's nice. Well, I should get. To that errand. Oh, yeah. That, I had to run. Of course. Because I've got limited time, you mm-hmm. see. I'm uh, expected. Your yes. Gerald needs his I'll pills. Gerald pills? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, I should, he doesn't know Do, which pills. Gerald, your. I don't see what business that is of yours. Okay. Does I'm sorry. I, I, I I'm sorry. Just, <laughs> That's just a little bit of a Walnut Creek joke. We like to pretend that people just should stay out of our business. Sure, <laughs> of course. Does does your does your uh, your daughter you said, or your niece? Hmm? Does I have a niece? Uh, uh, yes, you said that she sold. Uh, skin, she doesn't live local. S- skincare products. She oh, live local. Oh, I see. No, I see. She's, uh, she just moved, seemed odd. You you she mentioned moved to it. Washington. Oh, I've heard of. Oh, gotcha. Deals. Right. It's one of those pyramid schemes. Give me a spirit roll. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> this is why I stay by the van. Oh. Crit fail. Oh. Crit fail. Wait. Hey. Um, so as you're, as you're standing do, there. Do I the fall sh- through the earth? In the shadows of the RV, um, just trying to be nonchalant, uh, you suddenly feel a little bit of a twist in your stomach. Mm. Uh-oh. And as you do that, you lose all... All of your corporealness that oh you boy. fought so hard for. Yeah. Your uh, your whole getup falls off you directly into the sewer grate that you just oh, happen to be standing no. near. Ah! As you watch in slow motion, uh, so complete. Everything just sort of weighted by your fedora hat. The trailing <laughs> scarf just slowly pulls the whole trench coat into the sewer grate, and you reach for it, shoving your hand. Into the sewer grate, mm. into the sewer grate, mm-hmm. through the sewer grate to yes. go for it before you catch yourself. Mm. Then you realize what you're doing. Uh-huh. Uh, what do you want to do to try and backpedal from this, Alex? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I think there's do, only one thing we, to do. Do we see this? Yeah, yeah do we notice? Uh, everyone give me a notice roll at a minus two since you're all focused on this. Uh, so is that the I'm, D4 I'm then? I uh, roll. No, it'd be uh, your normal notice. Uh, I'm just going to give you a penalty since you're focused on this. Uh, this Edith person. Three. Three? I also got a three. Uh, Whoa. Six. Minus two. Oh, minus two, four. Four? That's okay. Four. I got a three. Okay, so you're you're both just, you know, trying to figure out why Edith is being <laughs> so weird. You are positioned so that you can see Alex uh, over Edith's shoulder, and as you watch, his entire getup <laughs> falls off of him and into a sewer <laughs> grate, and then he puts most of his arm through the, through the street. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, uh, there's only one thing to do. Uh, uh, I plug my nose and I go, <gasps> and I jump into the sewer grate and through the sewer grate. Give me a stealth roll. Now. Okay. Oh, at least some water won't stick. And no. since you saw him, <laughs> since you saw him, would you like to try and support the stealth roll before he rolls? Uh, since you saw what's going I, on, I, I'm going to. I'm going to say, uh, my God, did you see the size of that possum? 
Okay, so that sounds Weird. like a persuade roll. All so right. give me persuade, and then every success and raise you get is going to give you a plus one on your stealth. Woo. Uh, that is a success. That's a seven. A seven. Okay, okay. so that is a success. You're getting a plus one to the stealth roll as Edith goes, Oh, a pos- Oh, I don't like possum! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, Ooh, okay. Ooh, that was a one. Wow. Yes, and, I thought. Uh, and a raise, though. <laughs> raise. Wow. Hey. Wow. Eleven. Plus one, plus one is twelve, 12. which is just what you needed to get that extra raise. Wow. So as as you hold your nose uh, and and mumble something and rush into yourself as you <laughs> jump into the sewer, Edith Blitz Blitz goes, Oh, I don't see it. What was that? And looks back just as Alex disappears uh, beneath beneath the ground. <laughs> oh. No possum. Uh, sometimes our squirrels are a little bit big, oh, so maybe that's oh, what. That? Large squirrels. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's, well, that's good to know. That, wait, that, that isn't in the guidebook. Is that common? Like, how big do they I should really go on that they errand. Get, like, I've got person a person sized? Like, monster sized? Why would you ask about that? That's a weird thing to ask. I have to go. And she, and she, she like very huffily and crazy eyedly uh, puts herself together, slings her purse up on her arm, and just marches through you without making eye contact with anyone. Uh, have, have a nice day. Bye. I mean, that's strange behavior, even for a small town, right? I think yeah. we're in the right place. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there definitely seems to be something that uh, no one. He yeah. wants to talk about. You think here. we need to check into the squirrels? I mean, was that just like uh, 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 something she was using to get us to go away, or do you I, think that was real? I think we should probably keep an eye on the squirrels, yeah. but uh, but but not maybe not laser focus on them. All right, well. Um, so you two look around and notice that Alex is gone, uh, but only for a moment, as uh, he <laughs> appears from up uh, out of the sewer grate. Yes, just just ahead. We're really just just an is eye. She gone. <laughs> <laughs> Comrade, am I safe to come up? Uh, mostly Eric! Thank you very much yeah. for the reason. Cheers, mostly Eric. So... Psst. I, I actually have a rules question real quick. Yeah. Um, d- the duration on things like spells is generally in, like, combat rounds. Yeah. Is there a way to do something that's more long-term? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll okay. just we'll kind of play it by ear. What are you what are you thinking of doing? Well, I'm thinking that we might uh, Tim Tim slash Thomas is thinking that we might want to switch partners, and I can use my illusion power to keep uh, Alex slash uh, Yakov disguised as a normal human type being. Okay, li- li- living human type being. Okay. Um, I will say, yes, you can do that for the duration of an entire scene. Okay. However, it will it will use up all of your power points to maintain mm. that illusion that whole time. And you are going to be uh, subjected to a little bit of a multitasking penalty while you're trying to keep that in right. in uh, in focus. And is spellcasting considered to be a physical activity? Yeah, but I mean, if you do it when no one's watching, then no one's gonna notice. And I'm not in the sun. <laughs> right. That was more what I was oh, thinking. Oh yes, about. no, not not in that case. It's not gonna be affected by your sunlight. Uh, weakness. Okay. Okay. Uh, um. So real quick, before yeah. did, did you go down there to hide, or did uh, you go down there to get your trench coat? The I, the reason that to go down was twofold. Um, the first was to see if it is a possibility for me to recover my trench coat. Okay. Um, and I see that it is not. Okay. It is now <laughs> covered in brown goo. Yes. Uh, but while I'm down here, I might as well have a look around to see if there's any um, uh, clues as to why all this trash has been piling up. Is there trash in the sewer? Is there anything interesting? Are there beady red eyes looking at me? Give me a notice roll. All right. While you're down here, squirrel. We'll say this is this is while Edith is uh, huffily walking off. Yes. Meanwhile, in the sewers, mm, I did very terrible. So I will use a reroll. And there is a table reroll as well. Don't forget about okay. that. Ooh, yeah. This is this is the reroll from SF Giants Forty Nine er. Oh, you're you. specifically going. To Thank you. This, one it is. this is your reroll, Aww. and I will do you proud, SF Giants Forty Nine. And before you roll that, it appears that those shadowy figures keeping tabs on your uh, every move have unlocked another reward Ooh. tier Ooh. called. They appear to be trying to communicate, which we'll get. To. Is that us? Thanks very much. Yeah. Oh. I think we're pretty good at communicating. I think so too. 
It was not meant to be! <laughs> Crit fail. <laughs> Again. I'm good at that. So, oh. as, while you're down there, yeah. um, you, you do see there is, there's a fair amount of trash down here just floating through the sewer. It looks mm-hmm. like cast off beer bottles and paper streamers and bits of uh, little plastic flags just floating oh, by. Terrible, terrible. There is a sort of like weird circumspect pile of trash in a dry area. And as you go over to investigate it, mm-hmm. you get down close and you think you might need to manipulate this pile physically mm-hmm. to see if there's something underneath there. So Absolutely. you concentrate. Don't worry about rolling, because okay. yeah. this time you do it just real quick. I'm real you angry about all the single-use yeah. plastic that is clogging up these sewers. And you become very, very physical. Mm. Just as there is a sort of like swishing water noise from behind you, and what looks like a charge of sewage water mm. comes flooding oh, down uh, no. the tunnel and just washes over you. Yes. So what Cor- happens when, like that, like you are, you are physical, and you get all that stuff on you, and then if you go not physical, does it stay with you? I'm so glad you asked. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> ordinarily, no. Yeah. But something about the just the noxiousness of this sewage water Wonderful. seems to linger around you, uh, uh-huh. even after you go <laughs> ethereal once right. more. Right. Just the the chunkiness of being assaulted by this wave. You are going mm. to be at a minus one to all persuasion and performance rolls um, for the rest of the session. Perfect. Because you smell like human waste. <laughs> well, if you dive into a sewer, but you should really come up smelling like human waste. <laughs> but just lightly. And also, uh, just to make you feel better, mostly Eric would like to give you a reroll. Oh, mostly Eric! No. I'm mostly grateful for this. Thank you. That was very kind. That is not a ghostly scent you've got on you. <laughs> so it might went to persuade and... And performance. Performance, okay. Don't worry, I'll remember. Oh, yeah! Longshot yes, 1986, thank you for the bits. Thank you. Performance, oh, I'm not good at performance in the MA, so. All right, well, that was disgusting. So do, does this take time, or do you then come back up? No, I've He I've comes found... back up as previously paid. Yes, I go, psst. You see, like an eye and a little uh, ear and a bit of head. Yeah, I smell you before I say. And oh, you smell oh. ghostly poo. I, I didn't know that was possible. Um, I I'm going to need a little disguise. Oh, why do you smell so bad? Maybe you should stay down there and sort of track us by our foot movement. This is a Maybe terrible through. idea. <laughs> 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 I'm not interested in being down here anymore. Uh, perhaps there's a clue to, I mean, monsters tend to like dark and closed spaces. I looked around pretty hard and there was nothing down there. <laughs> there was a wave of feces that washed over my body, but other than that, <laughs> some beer bottles. Um, okay, okay, um. Bit of urine. <laughs> I think that's what that was. Just a touch of it, though, Just a, just a, a soup song of urine. Ooh. Um, well, I, mean, I guess water. we can try and go back to the disguise closet and see what else something might work. Something that would like cover. a hoodie. Uh, in the, all the, hoodie. The, Perfect. Maybe the maybe the dog costume. The dog costume. Yeah. Well, um, I am a stand-up comedian, so <laughs> this would be appropriate, perhaps. Or. Um, what, we just have a random furry outfit. What else do we have in uh, there? You know? Not anything to cover the smell. I don't remember. That's kind of why I was thinking like, the dog, because, you know. Can you take, like, a ghost shower? I mean, like, how's that work? No, that's not. That's just straight up not possible. Yes, that's, that's ridiculous. So, yes, I'll go find the ghost house. <laughs> Turn on the ghost faucet. Take a ghost shower. Well, I mean, we've not talked about it, you know? I don't want to make There's a lot of unexplained is, things about my existence. Because a town like this might have... A ghost, Aban- a abandoned ghost? houses, or uh, or oh, yeah. you know, like a, a ghost house. house. This is a haunted yeah. house, this is yeah. but or someplace that was knocked over before yes. the house was was ready. Yes, but we I, might be able to find you a ghost shower. Oh, I I do appreciate your concern, my for my well being, uh, oh, but no, we do need to stay on target here. It's our well being. <laughs> it's a nose yeah. issue. <laughs> <laughs> I can smell more than the average human, and I can't. Yeah, these these uh, dumb Peter senses are. Just, I mean, ugh. I don't have any extra senses that I know about, and you still smell like shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I, 
well, I, I, I've not, I've not had this experience before. This is a, a, a new thing for me. So, unfortunately, <laughs> it seems due to Alex's cluelessness about how he is able to maintain a lingering. I'm odor, discovering new things every day. <laughs> and this he is, can't smell, right? He, of course he, not. He can smell this. <laughs> yes. Um, this, it's no, I'm fine, guys. Ridiculous. I'm fine. Uh, it seems like this is just gonna be what Alex smells okay. like today. Because yeah. right. that's what happens when you crit fail. <laughs> yes. You smell bad. I am just a man with poor hygiene. This is something uh, we can all deal with together. I'll take the dog suit. There's okay. plenty of bad smelling comedians okay. out there. So That's right by a skunk. Do we want do we want to swap then and you can you're a dog Walk walker? The dog. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, I don't think that dog suit makes you look like an actual dog. Just as a, not at all. It a makes sad. you like it makes you look like a cool 1980s cartoon dog. <laughs> <laughs> it is a so. dog wearing sunglasses. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's you're pretty sure cool. it, you're pretty sure it's a <laughs> leftover <laughs> anti-drug you know mascot what? costume. Like it could be like you aren't fully right in the head, I guess, and you feel like you're a dog, and she's your dog walker. You know? That seems like that would draw more attention than just... <laughs> well, than just walking around in a dog suit? Yeah. Well, or, right, well, well we could just throw him. We, we, could, we could put him in the hoodie. I mean, right. yeah. just be... You could wear the dog costume and then put the hoodie on top of it. <laughs> I like so this idea. So hiding most of the weird dog bits. Yes, yes. Well, I mean... The, the, which begs the question at that point, <laughs> why wear the dog bits at all? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think I just kind of want to lean into this whole furry thing. Uh, because hey, it's it's while, 2019. Yes, it, it, it is. It is 2018, and while um, 19, it, it, 2018, I agree. Um, and and while they are not necessarily a well-known uh, aspect of society, they are an acknowledged aspect of society. Well, I mean, this is a, a tourist town that yeah. probably got a furry convention. Yes, I could turn into my hybrid form. And we could Two furries. get the furry convention. <laughs> this idea oh, I love. Oh, I, I'll, I'll go make some flyers. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. We can and do you guys can flyers. Flyers. We do need to yeah. focus a little bit, though. There, we have an investigation. This might and we're out standing in the street. <laughs> I, I'm assuming you guys are standing in the shade of your RV, right yes. over, hidden from most of the street, with the townsfolk studiously ignoring you and trying to get by you. Right. You've got a little bit of privacy and shade. <laughs> this, this they are be... arguing with a ghost, a literal ghost, who is asking to be turned into a furry. This might be the actual thing. I mean, if we're here to find some sort of furry monster, right? I mean, it never said furry. Right. But it well, could be a giant squirrel. Right. Yes. Right. That's furry. That is our one lead. You okay. definitely don't know that it's not a giant exactly. squirrel. Oh, that's true. Well, you guys are actually all yelling this into a sewer. Uh, great. So, <laughs> that's, I thought I, you were I just haven't... yelling it into a face sticking out of a street. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, can have any, I haven't fully manifested so myself. So, okay. so, yes, perhaps you could bring me the dog suit and yes, I would bring I, it to I, life. I will, I will go I will go up into the RV. I okay. will get the dog suit. I will bring out the dog suit, and then I'm also going to use the document printer in order to make up some flyers. I figure probably only six, because no one's going to take them. <laughs> for, a, a for a furry convention. For a furry convention, right. right. For con. Okay. Con. I hope um, this is what you guys had in mind uh, <laughs> when you drew up this scenario. You know, um, this exact thing to happen. I'm pretty sure they did. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, really uh, it's interesting because you guys haven't gotten to Furcon yet, but that is coming. <laughs> oh, is it? Okay. What, uh, yeah. So give me. Late July, I think. So right? you're going to put on the dog costume. You're going to switch into your hybrid form? Yes. And you are going to print up some uh, furry, some furcon flyers. Right. So first things first, <laughs> give me an electronics roll. You bet. I am super good at Since that. Since this is not something that the document preparation device is ordinarily designed to do. <laughs> There's no flyers. preset for this. You're going to have to customize I it. I mean, I feel like John should have thought of that. You know, I can be the lawyer for this convention. You'd too. think. You'd it's think. Really yeah. For con. Uh, that is not good enough. So okay. I will use one of these pieces. Go ahead. Yeah, That's you right. got it. Rerolling that. Rerolling. Rerolling. Uh, also and that is also not good. Um, you want to yeah, keep yeah. it or you want to spend a penny? No, you know what? I'm actually just going to embrace it and we're going to uh, spend yeah, a penny. Spend a penny. Okay. Alrighty. My Benny okay, so what's the difference again between the two? Uh, Bennies can, are basically able to do more things. Got essentially. It, okay. They're more valuable oh, than there's, there's an ace. Ooh. Okay. I didn't know YIF is an acronym. YIF? Yes. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Didn't realize that. Oh, That's oh, another ace? Oh, I'm sorry. Acronym. I yeah. thought you meant 
No, no, it's an acronym. Okay, yeah, I did no, not I didn't that. know that. Okay, uh, yeah, Eleven minus two is nine. So nine. that's a success in a race. So Ooh. even though there is not a preset, and you do spend a little, this takes you about half an hour. It takes some time. Uh, and the first two that you print up are, are kind of like not super great. Right, Farcon. The, there's one that somehow looks like you made it in MS Paint, even though you absolutely <laughs> didn't. Yes. And all of the words are like spray paint tool written on there, and you're like, well, that's not going to work. Um, but eventually, you're able to get a template that, that looks about as professional as you would expect a pop-up furry convention's <laughs> flyers to look. Uh, and you print out six of them. Meanwhile, yes. um, <laughs> Pip has grabbed you the dog costume. Okay. And you're going to have to try and put it on. So give me a spirit you roll. This. You got this. Come on. Here we go. Big, big money. Okay. Five. All right. So... Um, trying as hard as you can to concentrate and just will away that persistent odor. Mm -hmm. You feel yourself solidify enough that you can put on the cool dog costume. <laughs> and then, Pip, you are going to try and transform into your hybrid form? Yes. Okay, so uh, that is going to be a spirit roll. Okay. And you are definitely going to want to do that inside of the yes. RV, because even though it happens quickly, there is still some Rick Baker level weird crap that you go through <laughs> in order to do this. Is it spirit? Yes, a spirit roll. Where do I find? Oh, thank you. D6. Okay. Uh oh. That's a one and a two. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Oh. Um, so you can use this table reroll. You can use oh, your reroll. Yeah. You can use a Benny. It's up to you. Where's my reroll? Okay, using a reroll to roll again. Six. There, you go. there we Whoa. go. You aced it. So you I knew you were gonna get this. Five. Nice. Okay. Seven. So. So you go into the RV. You like privacy when you do this. Yes. You ask everyone respectfully to wait outside. You close the door. And then from within the RV, as it begins to rock back and forth, <laughs> there is this terrible squeaking, screaming sound. And then about oh. five seconds later, uh, he, he does this. we need to get that suspension looked at. <laughs> That's all of the suspension. Ah. Mm. You walk out oh, in yeah. your half chinchilla, half human form, uh, which looks about uh, like you'd expect. Very big tail. Yeah. <laughs> very strange face, uh, very intelligent eyes, just a, a bizarre and very upsetting thing to, uh, to gaze at. But you are armed with six flyers, uh, and you're hoping that that's going to be enough to explain your appearance. I'm never going to get used to that. Just thrown out. Mm -hmm. It's not either, really, but... Yeah. So, it's not your fault. Uh, it's, yeah. it's, I've seen worse. New disguises all in place. <laughs> yes. Um, you guys are now ready to do uh, some of this investigation you hear so much about. Yes. Let's let's go to um, uh, where should we go? We have so Zyber? so. I, th I think if you two hit the movie theater, because yes. you might be able to hit like a younger crowd, and there's kind of like the young you know, hip movies. crowd yes. of Walnut well, Creek. Yes. Yeah, and the, you know there movies and effects and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Absolutely. So you two are going to the, the movie theater, <laughs> theater. Oh, and you two I are going to, go to the, the diner. diner. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so who wants to go first? Um, let's go. All right. I'm just your handler. I don't make yes. these decisions. Yes. Let's 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 resolve this uh, movie theater. All right. So uh, you can you, you're pretty sure down at the far end of uh, the main street, you see what looks like an old fashioned marquee and a, and a very uh, vintage looking uh, theater facade. So you're pretty sure that's where you need to go. So you guys kind of start heading off down that way. Mm -hmm. um, townsfolk seem to have largely vanished from the main street, <laughs> which is yeah. probably for the best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and as you get closer, you see there is a, a kind of rundown marquee that proclaims this is the Eagle Theater. They are showing six cents. Oh, hey! Oh, tonight at eight thirty, mm. and there is a very Just the one showing a very bored-looking teenage boy with a red vest that looks somewhat moth-eaten, just sitting in the in the ticket booth. Perfect. And as you two walk over, were you dead during Six Sense? I uh, no, I, I was alive. That okay. was that was after I had manifested as a spirit. Um, Great movie. They got some of the details wrong. As you two walk over, I don't want to you just see him kind of turn towards you, and he he sort of like shake my little tail. Looks at the guy in the dog costume, and then looks over at you, and you see his eyes go wide, and he like just starts like looking around for like the door to get I out of. I put my the... flyer up above my face. Uh, furry cod. Uh, oh, don't worry, oh, don't worry. We are friendly. Oh, you guys are furries. Yes, we are fur folk. Cool. How are you? What? Good. Do you happen to have a bulletin board where we can put our flyer up? Uh. 
perhaps the town announcements and the like. You know, we don't have a... Some place where we smell? can post this publicly. Uh, I don't know, I smell that too. Yeah. Perhaps uh, there's a wind blowing in from the lake. It must be an RV like backing up with its sewage pump or something. Mm, yes, yeah. that, that, uh, is, that is a thing that happens. Wait, you guys are here to run a furry convention? No, no, the furry convention is in Cleveland. Oh. And Cleveland is a full hour drive from here. Uh, listen, now's <laughs> probably not like a good time to uh, to like put stuff up, so. Oh no. Yeah, and I mean, we're just showing the sixth sense tonight, and like we've been showing this for like two months now, so no one's gonna probably come see it tonight, so That's I don't tragedy. know if you wanna it's put It's a your... very good movie. Yeah, you know, it's all right. He seems to be getting, like, after the initial shock of your appearance wears off, he seems to remember. You adjust to furries pretty quickly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, he's a teenager. Uh, he's been on the internet. Yes, um, yes we, we, we noticed that this town, uh, uh, people seem to be a little um, jumpy, I think. Well, Jumpier than normal. Well, I mean, in fairness, you are walking around in animal costumes and, like, really good prosthetics. How long does that take you to do? Uh, uh, it, it takes a while. It's, 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 about, it's, about, it's about five hours. What? Five hours, yes. yes. Five, well, and, mm. and like, it just stays on like that the whole time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it sure does. What do you use to do it? Oh. He's really grilling you. Can you give me a persuade, a persuade roll to, you can to touch like, it if you keep like. up with this? <laughs> and and um, you are a bit tongue tied. Yeah, so I know. Is, that's why I'm like. Oh. This is gonna be at a minus two. Great. <laughs> oh Six. nice! Oh, you ace it. Oh. Ace it. Six. Ace it oh again. my gosh! That die never rolls that good Three. for me. <laughs> wow. Uh, you You're a maniac. You sit there and so. just fire off answer after answer to his yeah, question. There's this latex that you can get from blah, 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 blah. And, you know, when you put it on, if you time it correctly and you use the specific precise needles from Furry Con's number one brand selling place, it works. Cool. But listen, you guys seem cool, like, even for furries. Hey, look at him go. <laughs> uh, but listen. That is the show excitement. I just, I love how it's like the best furry you've ever seen and the worst furry you've ever seen. He's like hands are uh, by are his side. <laughs> listen though, listen. It's a lot of effort to shake that little I don't, cushy. I don't want, like you guys seem really cool and excited about this convention, but like you're probably uh, barking up the wrong tree here. Um, oh, this is... We've been through so many towns and we haven't had any <laughs> issues. <laughs> Yeah, but like, posting these flyers. listen, listen, you know, we had our 4th of July thing yesterday. Oh, yes. And like, some, we've seen the streamers around like, it. Yeah, time. some weird stuff like went down, and like, everyone's kind of like. Weirder than two furries showing up in town? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, really. You know, just just rumors and stuff. Like people, like I, I don't know. Like there's word going around that people saw like some some weird stuff. Weird stuff, like um, like a, um, a, a, a crazy green sky at night or something. No, that what? That's not that. Like why would that? Well, be? like this this sky was green. That'd be pretty weird, right? I mean, yes, like it was swamp like a gas storm and, or something yeah, that mean, was coming. No, no, no. It would catch me by surprise. No, like listen, I didn't see anything. You know, I don't like to I don't like to gossip. All right, but I heard, I heard that if you <laughs> want to know what's going on, someone's someone's <laughs> RV got pretty well wrecked out by the campgrounds. Oh, no. And I hear that uh, Smill over at Smill's Garage and Bump, uh, he was the one who did work on the RV, so. <clears throat> His name is Smell? Smill. Smell. Smill. 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 Yeah, Smill's Garage and Bump. And Bump. And yeah, the town Bump is right outside of his garage, so. Uh, well, I haven't had the Bump in several years. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Uh, the, bump, the Bump is one of our tourist attractions. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. No, the famous Bump, how could I forget? Yeah, it's just like, where did that Bump come from? I know, it comes out of nowhere, and then suddenly you're airborne. Smell. What? <laughs> what? Uh, no. Bump. Yes. Oh, sorry. I just, I just hear, you know, he had something to do with it. So you he, know, you he, might talk it to was him. his RV. He was working on the RV. This is very strange. He was, was anyone hurt? He was. 
I don't know, maybe. Some people say uh, some people were killed. <gasps> but I'm pretty sure that's made up. Tail tucks between his legs. How? <laughs> <laughs> he reaches down through the suit, pulls the tail. <laughs> and on that note, give me a spirit roll. <laughs> yes. It seems about time for that. Oh, four? Oh, four. All right. As you as you go down to pull your tail between your legs, you feel that twist in your stomach. And <gasps> no, 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 no. You managed to hold it together and keep the dog costume on. Okay. Don't get fancy. Don't get fancy, oh. Alex. Yeah. It's keep your cool. Smell. 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 Yeah. Smell. Smell. Well, we uh, arrived on an RV. Perhaps we might be able to lend some expertise uh, just from having traveled. On an RV. Oh, you came in an RV? Yes. Oh, well, if you need in, like your oil changed or anything yes. like that, like smells pretty problem. much the, the... Oil! We have an oil leak that has yes. been leaking. Oh, yeah, smell can take care of that. He's Since pretty South good. Since South Dakota. Uh, just heads up, he's a little bit of a <clears throat> interesting guy. You know, he lives alone, and he works alone, and he spends a lot of time alone, so he's... You know, just sounds like a real weirdo. He's, yeah, yeah. He's nice though. You'll like him. You'll like <laughs> I gotta say, you know what? Give me one of them flyers. Yeah. It's a very friendly and welcoming organization. You know, shoot, I'm curious. You don't uh, even need to wear a, a fursuit to I'll check it out. Do I go onto the website to get tickets? It should, there should be something printed on it. Yeah, I see. Call the number. Oh, you call the number. You mail it in. Mail it. I mail this in. <laughs> yeah. To get tickets. Okay. Sure. Well, thank you very much. There's a PO box on there, and and they'll check that regularly. Thanks very much. Okay. Great. And I'll fold that up and put that in my pocket. I don't um, have to call him and then be like, it doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, you know, hey, don't let everybody be in all weird today, like give you the wrong idea. Like, you folks seem pretty cool. And if you want, like, at 8 30 tonight, we're showing the sixth sense. I would so, love uh, to see that movie. I can get I've you in through it. the side door <gasps> if you want. I'm just saying. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's excitable. He is. All right. Well, I should get back to the man in the ticket booth. Well, well, all right. Thank you thank for the you information. For yeah, you got it. Good luck with the convention. Mm-hmm. Bye. All right. Maybe just stick to, like, side streets. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Folks yeah, absolutely. are a little on edge. All right. Meanwhile, uh, you guys are heading to Ruth's <laughs> Diner, is that right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep. Okay, so you guys walk in and you grab a booth. There's, like, one old guy sitting at the uh, bar, like, tucking into a chicken fried steak and what looks like his sixth cup of coffee. And when the bell rings above the door, he kind of looks back and then hunches over. Uh, so you guys walk over and grab a booth. And a, a portly uh, middle-aged woman <clears throat> with uh, tight curls and a cigarette dangling out of her mouth comes over. Ooh. Hello, welcome to Ruth's Diner. What can I get for you two today? Uh, I have heard that uh, you have the finest burger in the uh, Tri Rivers area, and uh, I'm here to uh, Tri Lake area. Tri Lake area. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm from out of town. Clearly. Yeah. Uh, so one, your finest burger, uh, extra rare. Do you, uh, know? you heard right, we got the only burger in town, so one burger cooked. Do you know who this is? Uh, r- rare. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, Thomas Gerger. No, I don't, we don't... Uh, I don't know who uh, that is. Gerger's Burgers. If they know, then, you um, know, we get better service, but that's, again, I don't bad. want to bring that up. I'm uh, just saying, that. it's this is a big deal for you all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm moderately okay, maybe. Can I can I support this by playing like the we've been playing the kind of yeah like I'm absolutely trying, I'm trying to downplay it but upplay it. That seems like another thing. persuade role as well. So uh, give me persuade first, and then every successor raise you get is going to add a plus one to Angelica's roll or Jeffrey's. I can't even remember. Sure. That's an ace. Woo! Ace, all right. An eight. Uh, so that is an, uh, 13. A 13? Okay, so this is going to be plus 3 to that. Oh, yeah. That's what I need. What? That's cocked. Right? Yeah, that doesn't count. Mm. Oh, yes. So, uh, that gives me a 6. Jerger? <clears throat> Jerger's burger? Yeah, uh, a f- food blogger. I specialize in hamburgers across this great country. Do you leave Yelp reviews? <laughs> 
Uh, I could leave a Yelp review if that was something that you were interested in. All right. You want your burger rare? Please. Just so you know, safety-wise, I don't recommend it. Uh, as rare as you recommend. <laughs> One burger cooked. <laughs> and for you? Uh, I'll have the grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. With a side of fries. Side of fries. And can I also get a side of onion rings? Side and fries, then one rings. of your uh, Sunday banana splits, banana I think. Banana split. And also, you have tater tots? Tater tots. Some of those. All right, now we're gonna do one burger, burn it. We're gonna do one cheese and bread. We're gonna do a circle fries. We're gonna do a tater tot. And uh, you want that banana split out with the rest of your food? Sure. Hell, go ahead and split me on that too. Thanks, honey. Anything to drink? Uh, well, we'll take some water. I have to make sure nothing else interferes with the palate. Uh, it wouldn't be a fair judgment of the burger on its uh, on its own if I indulged in any We sort ain't of fancy. <clears throat> but you have water. I just want to let you know. I understand. We ain't a fancy establishment. I understand. I I don't I don't go into fancy establishments, he said, swishing his cashmere scarf <laughs> off to the side. Yeah. I am strictly here in order to uh, facilitate the Understanding and appreciation of the humble American burger. <laughs> All right. And um, I mean, I just have to comment as uh, Mr. Gerger's lawyer here. Uh, why is your? Thought you said it was Jerger. Jer Jer that's what I said. I wrote down Jerger. I said Jerger. It, it is Jerger. You burgers. heard Jerger. Sounded like you said Gerger. Well, uh, my friend Jeffrey comes from Germanic stock, and occasionally it comes back up in their speech. Give me persuade. <laughs> <laughs> Ruth, Ruth seems a bit more suspicious than she uh, uh. first appeared. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just need a moment. <laughs> Take your time. Ain't like everyone's beating down a door. Oops. Uh oh. For those of you who don't know, my rule is always, uh, if anything goes out of the, the thing, I re-roll it. Re-rolls it. I always do it. Well, you uh, aced it. Aced it. it. Nice. Worthwhile. Nice. Well, it hurts me sometimes, too. Um, that's an eight. Eight. That's a success with the race. Yes. All right, I didn't realize you were Germanic. <laughs> Danke. Sorry, what was it you were saying? Uh, we'd like some water. Oh, yeah. your town, it's kind of a mess. Yeah. What's that about? Fourth of July festival. But do you always just let it, like, what, do you wait till next week to clean it up? Why are you asking? I mean, it's just that... You another reporter? You know how in another reporter... I told you I'm a lawyer. Yeah, that's what a reporter would say. Jeffrey knows that in order to help... Uh, the copy on the blog, it's nice to get a little bit of local color so I can kind of weave a story, Listen, tell, yeah, tell a tale yeah, about what's going tell on. Yeah, tell it to the judge, Jerger. I ain't heard or seen nothing about this weird creature people are seeing around town. Is it a squirrel? I don't truck with it. <clears throat> I don't know, um, and I don't care. Weird, I haven't heard anything about a weird creature. What's Sure what's you about? haven't, Jerger. <laughs> Jerker. <laughs> Listen, you want to talk to the guy down at the newspaper office. Walnut Creek Star, David Pruse runs that. He can give you all the weird, nosy answers you want. If you want food, you come to Ruth's. Now, do you want food? Absolutely. Or do you want answers? No, no, I'm here for the burger. Well, good, because I already got it fired up on the grill back there. How's that burger coming, Hal? <laughs> <laughs> He's probably watching the game. <gasps> There's a game? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, boy. Can I, do you need help in the kitchen? No, we don't need help do in the kitchen. Do you have televisions that, can you bring that out? We are important customers, and I need to see the game. Is that a uh, football game? No. Which, wait, 
It's not, a, there are two kinds. Darts. Oh, no. I mean, I'll watch that. We got ESPN 6. <laughs> and that's it. Huh? How do you survive in this town? <sighs> Did you see Will that there be anything else? Last week? I ain't here for answers. Sorry. It's been a rough day. Why is that? On account of all of the... Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't know. I'm going to get you your waters. Dave I'm going to get your waters. What's coming in, I'm just Jerger and friend. Thank, thank you, Ruth. Uh, my name's Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey. Hasman. Just in case I need to pass this off to the sheriff. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. I assure you we will dine in peace. I hope so. Hell, how are we coming on that food, damn it? <laughs> and she goes off to the <gasps> kitchen. <laughs> All right, um, Ruth does not seem willing to uh, converse any further, um, but you were able to at least hear something about the newspaper office. Um, you eat your food. Uh, you notice, uh, Tim, that when your burger is served to you, there seems to be like just a smattering of curly parsley just sort of <laughs> sprinkled around the edge of the plate. Um, and, and Ruth drops it off and then just kind of like half-assedly curtsies by the table. <laughs> bon appetit. And then wanders off behind the counter. Are you guys going to eat? Yeah. Okay. I eat very fast. Okay. <laughs> you eat. Like I'm starving. Uh, your burger is uh, is cooked through entirely. Right. Uh, right. And it tastes about as good as you'd expect. Yes. Um, two, two bites. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you need. Yeah. Um, you finish up your meal. It's very filling. Mm -hmm. Sticks to your ribs. And you pay. Of course. Can't good. draw attention to ourselves. Voice? We uh we don't accept tips. Everything's included in the price. That's uh I own and operate this establishment. I don't want any handouts. Understood. What'd you call me? I said that's very progressive. Not having a tip structure. I it's ain't a progressive jerker. No, 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 it's, it's very... It's I'm very, about it, as conservative it's very as modern. they come. It's very modern. I'm sorry, I misspoke. I'm a traditionalist. <laughs> Jerger. Mm-hmm. I will, uh, I have that in my notes. We'll add that, uh, to, to the, uh, review. Thank you for dining at Ruth. Have and a good the, day. Uh, have a nice home. day. Uh, All right. Thank have, you. Hell! You better be scraping down that grill or so help me God! <laughs> she wanders off. She's and so do we. <laughs> Did you have a, uh, a time you were, or a time and place you were gonna meet back up? About an hour back at the RV. About an hour back at the RV. Yeah. All right. That was what we agreed on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You did. I, I remember yeah. you saying yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All said it Phrased together. together. Yep. So you guys head back to the RV, um, and you uh, you reconvene. You talk about what it is you discovered. Um, you guys got information about Smills. You guys got information about the newspaper. David Bruce. Yeah. What would you like to do? So I think we all share information. Yes. Yeah. So clearly something was going on. There was some sort of an attack. You said that there was something down at, at Smills. Yes, there was some sort of issue with an, I, an RV yeah. um, that, that had been damaged. People may have been killed, they said. Yes, that is that is true. And and Ruth said something about the, the creature. Creature. Yeah, so, I mean, it sounds like some creature, maybe a giant squirrel, we can't be sure, attacked an RV. Mm -hmm. yes. That's what it sounds like. Well, uh, where would you like to go next? Perhaps we should stick together for safety's sake. Yeah. Um, would, shall we travel to Smills uh, RV and Bump? Sure. Garage and Bump. Garage, Garage and, and Bump. Bump. That's what it was. Let's yeah, let's let's check that out. Perhaps he might be able to give us some information. What is a bump? Yes, great question. I am curious about that myself. Perhaps Smill can inform us or can enlighten us. Uh, so you guys are gonna get back in the RV <clears throat> and drive over to Smill's Garage and Bump? Oh, is it that far? Yes. I, well, think I mean, we can walk on the outside. You you probably could walk, but uh, okay. you know. Yeah. But if our cover is also that we want him to take a look at our oil leak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. True. Okay, and are you guys going to keep your uh, your your furry getup? Uh, uh, yes, yes, I am. I am. Okay. It's the life I chose. <laughs> uh, kind of. I mean, I guess you did choose it. You fell oh, into I a did, sewer. I mean, the furry oh, life kind of chose me. Yeah. yeah. Um, in a way. 
could... Could you stay back by the window? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. And uh, keep it I, open. I, I'll steal myself in, in the, the rear with all the windows open. Yeah, you do still reek of raw sewage. <laughs> yes. So. <laughs> Just a little raw sewage. Just a little. Appreciate it. Right. And dog hair. Okay, so you guys drive over to Smills? Yes. Uh, this is a rundown looking place. Uh, grease stains all over. Uh, you don't see any sign of anyone uh, in the open garage area. Across the street from it, there is a little uh, a bump in the pavement that is squared off with uh, like velvet ropes that look very old and sun faded. And there is a sign that on one corner that says, See the bump! That's like. A- Upside down pothole. I'm, I'll take a look at it. <laughs> okay. All right. So you guys are gonna get out of the RV? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go straight to that bump. Okay. okay so you, give me a spirit roll. Okay. It's, <laughs> so yes, I'll, I'll wait for someone else to open the door, and then I'll step out. And okay, I rolled a five. A five? Yes. Okay. So you managed to keep your cool dog costume on. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda stumbles a little bit. The arms go all wobbly, but um. What's oh, what's oh, no. Stay What's the name of the cool dog from uh, Simpsons? Poochie. 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 Okay, that's what I'm that's getting. That's absolutely. the image that I'm getting. You walk yes. around in Poochie costume. <laughs> and you walk over to the bump. Yes. It's a bump. I investigate <laughs> the bump. In the concrete? I or kick at it a little bit. I mean. It's in the concrete. The concrete is like smoothly curved up. Is it that strange of a thing? I mean... It's pretty impressive. I mean, Uh it's like a natural bump. It's a natural occurring phenomenon. From behind you guys, you hear a voice. You folks come out here to check out the bump? Oh, um, yes, but also... That there bump (laughs) is one of the things that this town is known for. So you turn around, and you're guessing this is Smill. It's a man who is lived very hard, uh, sun-weathered skin. It's entirely possible that he's anywhere from his late 50s to his early 80s. You're not entirely sure. Mm. Um, He's just got deep-set wrinkles, smile lines. He looks and smells like he's been hitting the sauce pretty hard uh, by noontime. And he's wearing a greasy stained coverall. Yeah, that bump, uh, (laughs) no matter what they do, no matter what, Comes back, pay over it, knock it down, oh. plant a tree on it, can't get rid of the bump. That makes Has it. Has anyone dug it up? <laughs> <laughs> Not as I recall. It's probably like. <laughs> well, that's, well, that's, that's something. I don't even know if anyone ever has dug it up. Like maybe some. Like what um, could be under there? Like natural <laughs> gas that's pushing up. Could do, could do. Right. Anyways, uh, you, you folks from uh, from out of town, I reckon. Right. This your uh, machine here? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, we we, we uh, missed your uh, big festival, but um, we are having a little problem with the uh, leaking oil, and uh, people said that you were the place to take... This one would, right? Our, yeah, our yeah. I'm, uh, I'm your man right here. But, uh, hey, Smill, Mr. Smill? Hey, just call me Smill. Mr. Smill's my pappy. <laughs> of course, of course. Still around? My pappy? Yeah, maybe. Oh. All right. <laughs> he does run off. Sure. Hey, it's, it's done by this. So I apologize. Um, so, uh, and you notice he he um, pulls uh, what looks like a, a metal gas canister up and just sort of pours the contents into a cup. Uh, they're just sort of like a sort of murky brown clear liquid, and uh, he just kind of knocks it back. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, oh. Any of you... Uh, Care for an after? Oh, get it! Oh, good lord! Yeah, what's hey. going on over here? Oh. What's going on with this situation here? Oh, oh. yeah. What's going on with this? Uh, they're, they're, they're they're furries. Yeah. They're what? Uh, furries? They're allow, like... allow me to enlighten you a little I bit. I um, know nothing about furries. Well, we we are people who enjoy uh, uh, taking on the guise of. Uh, 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 different animals with uh, anthropomorphic uh, features. Yes. Something about... Her costume is very good. Just keeps holding the, the flyer higher and higher. How you lower that thing down there? Lower that thing down for a second. You got kind eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Smill, um, 
I do want to have you take a look at the at the RV. Yeah, yeah, having, I having can do that pump. and get you back but, on the road. And, yeah. but, but I I I did hear one thing in town. They were saying that uh, <clears throat> something happened to an RV that you were taking a look at yesterday. And I'm a little bit concerned because we are from out of town, and I don't. Uh, your your town is lovely, but I uh, I do have appointments. I don't really want to be stranded here. On that note. I do best for you folks to not walk around looking the way you do. There uh, have been reports of a strange fish man like creature walking around and. Uh, fish furry. That's what I hear. Well, you have yeah. found the right men for the job. Listen, could do. I do have some information on that, but uh, before I give it to you, I'm gonna do that oil change, right? Uh, yeah, f- of course. And uh, fix that leaking pipe, the oil line. That would be uh, that would be very helpful. I'll cash only at this establishment. Sure, I understand. How does that? Uh, I'll ask later. We've got cash. You got sixty dollars cash. Mm, well, that's, uh, I bet we can. That's what we charge here for oil <laughs> change. Plus, uh, <laughs> you, you know, you got man hours. You got to take a look at the oil line. You uh, understand? It's technical business. I'll, I'll, sounds fair. I, th- I think we can swing that. Shake on it. Oh, I like your style, young man. Oh, that's a cold handshake. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you keeping your hands in ice or something? Uh, I have a, I have a uh, skin you, condition. You know, you probably need a little bit of this stuff. And he pulls, uh, he goes over and pulls up a different gas can and pours uh, a slightly different looking fluid into his cup. Uh, everyone, give me a notice roll. Seven. Seven. Four. Four. Five. 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 You all notice that there are several such gas cans around. No label or uh, differentiating marks that you can see on any of these as he knocks it back. Ooh, rest out. I brew my own shine. Mm. Keep it in a gas can so no one's the wiser. Sure. It makes perfect sense. Uh, all right. All right. Well, uh, why don't you pull that RV in here and I'll take a look at it. I'll tell you what it is I heard. And uh, maybe you two folks want to get in off the street. Uh, you know, just for the time being, ain't, ain't gonna do too much good to uh, be seen looking like that. Absolutely. Kind eyes or no. <laughs> I'm quite fascinated with this bump, but uh, we can step inside. Yeah, you know, everyone is. <laughs> uh, I think the local history museum had a retrospective on the bump, uh, but they done took that down in mm. order to do the traveling Egyptian exhibit. Oh, Very right. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, all right, so pull, pull in that honker there. Let's, let's see what we got. And then you guys pull in the RV, and he gets he gets underneath it, and as he's down there, he's like, all right, so uh, what is it you wanted to know? Well, I, I mean, so what this, happened? This uh, fish man, he... That we call them a, fish folk in the furry attacked? community. Right. I'm sorry, this fish folk, it uh, attacked... All right, listen, listen. Here, Here's what I heard, okay? Here's what I heard. And could be that other people got more information than me, better informed. But uh, a couple of folks uh, from out of town, strangers that was here just for the 4th of July extravaganza, we got uh, Wazinski's was their last name, if I recall correctly, brought in their RV all smashed up to heck and back. Uh, it turns out, and that's according to them, I don't think the sheriff's office has their official statement, but this is what I heard, as I recall. Uh, fella comes up out of the water in a diving suit, <clears throat> Real mad like. Grabs a trash can, starts emptying the trash can on top of the RV, shouting, making all kinds of noise, starts pushing it back and forth, knocks it clean over, goes up to the front of it, just hammering on it, whamming on it. There, you know, the Wazinskis, they ain't in it at the time. At least they told me they ain't. Uh, so you, they're off, uh, you know, I think they were uh, indulging a little recreational, uh, uh, you know, what I, mean? I don't uh, myself uh, agree with that. I'll stick to my hooch. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. And, Pure uh, shine, you bet. Yeah, they, they, he did a number on it, jumped back into the water, and they turned tail and ran straight to the sheriff, filed a report came to me to get it fixed up a hell of a thing too you know i think i took some polaroids for insurance purposes let me uh, he gets out from underneath the rv and goes over to like a giant rusty red tool just let me see what i got around (laughs) yeah yeah i got a couple of them here check it out and he passes out these polaroids to you um what they appear to be are uh close-up pictures of the front and side of an rv and Mm. it looks like there are gashes in it <coughs> with some sort of green fuzzy substance. Uh, everyone give me a 
if you have uh, science, just give me a straight science roll. If you don't, give me common knowledge at a minus two. Oh boy. Ooh, I aced it. Well, both high. Oops. Negative. Yet. At a minus two, you said? Yeah. Eight. Eight? Three. 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 Zero. Zero. All right. So uh, you guys are like, yep, those are gashes with green in them. Um, Angelica, something about this, you're not entirely sure what gives you this impression, but you feel like you recognize it. It looks almost like pond scum, uh, just kind of lining these lining these gashes. Yeah, I take a hell of a thing there, ain't it? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, anyone else like a little, uh, a little hooch? Uh, I'll take a little bit of hooch. Yeah. All right, let me just go uh, get it from, and he walks over to a, to a pile of uh, metal gas canisters that all look the same. Mm. Let's see. Oh. Hold on, miss. Uh, mm. How many is this one? Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, let me get you a cup. And he uncorks it and pours out some brown, strong-smelling oh, fluid. Gosh. Could be gas, could be hooch. Mm -hmm. Hands it over you to see how that treats you there. Right. Oh, hold on, spirit roll. Okay. <laughs> hey! Oh, all, right. all right. Was that a double ace? Oh, Is that a thing? That's an 11. It can be. It can be, but that was you not. An eight. 11. Okay, oh. so you focus... And with a, with an immensely strained face underneath your cool dog facade, <laughs> uh, you manage to pick up the glass and raise it to the fuzzy nostrils uh, of your dog costume? Yes, yes. What exactly is your plan? <laughs> yes, okay. gonna, I'm going to start lapping it up. Okay. <laughs> and, and I will tip it back and just pour it into the suit. Okay, 100%, that's gasoline. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, all right. Yes. Here we go, cheers, bottom go. It's, I like your style. It masks the uh, the odor of the feces. Not even a little bit. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not even no. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we've kind of gotten used to it, but now there's <laughs> now like this. Awful. Uh, so yes, the, the, sewage it, and it, gasoline. Smell. It pours uh, over my uh, uh, incorporeal body and uh, down the front of the dog costume. Okay, puddling in the feet of the dog. Yes, puddle, sloshing it around and puddling in the feet of the dog. Hey, you did that like a champ. Well, you ask me. I think uh, it was the campgrounds down by uh, Walnut Creek Lake. No, or is it <clears throat> Sam's Creek or Dead Creek? One of them. You know, and everything's the same up there in them lakes. So these Wisniewski's, uh, Wiz, 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 Wilsinski's. They left town. Oh yeah, they got out of here as soon as I patched that thing up. They ain't gonna stick well, around. And they that. spoke to the sheriff before they left. Yes. Uh, yeah, they gave their statement to the sheriff. Well, who is? Would, do you, would you mind? Who is this sheriff, and where could we find him? And see, it's. Oh, I mean, you find a sheriff at the sheriff station. Wh where? Where might that be? Uh, we're back down uh, Main Street, away, just kind of tucked off behind the catty corner of City Hall. Oh, and very interesting. And this this uh, gentleman or lady's name is. Uh, the sheriff's name? Oh yes. I suppose we could just call the person sheriff. Huh? You could. But that might be a bit disrespectful once I tell you his name, because then you'd know it. That's true. Uh, Sheriff Knox, Fred Knox. Although I don't know what you could gain from talking to him, I'm pretty sure they told me just as much as they told that deputy for their uh, statement or whatever. This, uh, these scratches here in your photo, Yeah. that looks like the bottom of a pond. Yeah, it does a bit, don't it? <laughs> That's good. Right, yeah. Bottom of a pond. We ain't got no ponds around here. We got the Tri-Lake area. We got Walnut Creek, uh, right, Dead Man's Creek. I mean, Dead the, Creek, sorry, the bottom Sam, of a pond Sam, Sam Sam Creek. Creek. and the bottom of a river and the bottom of a lake could be similar. Or is there lakes? <sighs> I'm saying, though, all that can be similar. Ain't that a bitch, though? We're called Walnut Creek. It's called Walnut Creek. <clears throat> ain't a creek. It's a lake. Nor are there any you walnuts. You could be called Dead Creek, so there's that. We used to be called Bottom Creek. <laughs> Was there a Bottom Creek? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> but it's a lake. Try lake area. We call them creeks. Mm. And, and no one's ever dug up the bump. You know, I'm, I'm examining all the things today. <laughs> That's a funny old world. <laughs> it well, is. Well, while we are having this uh, RV looked at, perhaps we could go uh, take a look at the, uh, the camping site and see if we could... 
see anything because for me personally as a furry if there are fish folk out there who are causing damage it would harm the reputation of the peace and loving convention that we are trying oh, to hold build. on hold on hold on you don't believe this malarkey do you well I, 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 you I, would be surprised at the things that i have seen at furry conventions well, you've you've had the Polaroids. I mean, some something beat up that RV. Oh yeah, a man in a diving suit, probably drunk off his ass from the Fourth of July, just paddling around beneath the surface of Walnut Creek like one does uh, with your oxygen apparatus. You well, know what? I'm. You know what? I'm. I'm. I'm sure you're correct, and uh, we should probably just not think about it I anymore. Mean, you want him to be correct, right? <laughs> right. There needs to be a rational explanation for all of this. Exactly. Stuff. That's true. Right. Well, 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 that was I, I'm sorry. I, I had a moment, you know, I, I, I read a lot of science fiction. I wasn't thinking, you're right. It's, I thought it might have been, to be what has it to might be. have been a, a, a fellow furry dressed in a fish costume. I mean, that is something that we see at the conventions. So who would be more uh, qualified to examine this than fellow furries? Or someone just, you know, drunk off his ass diving. and, and uh, Give me a notice roll. fishing underwater in a diving suit. That's a two. You got a two? Yeah. Do you want to re-roll or do you want to keep it? Oh, I want to re-roll. Okay, you can re-roll. I mean, it's fine. I, I ask that most times. He does that Let's most bend time. those re-rolls. Oh, I should have done a D8, too. Oops, okay. Oh, we'll do it right now. Four. Four? Okay, he got a five. So uh -huh. uh, as he's talking, he's kind of circling around looking at stuff. He comes over to you and just out of nowhere reaches out and tugs on one of your whiskers. Be son of a bitch. That thing didn't move at all. Blech. This ain't no mask, is it? it it's this ain't a mask at all. Good glue. No, I know good glue. I know good craftsmanship. This ain't craftsmanship. What is going on what? here? You come here, let me feel your face. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> what are you implying here? All right, that's so, ridiculous. Uh, it looks like you guys are on the verge of having your cover blown here. So, what do you want to do? He is suddenly real riled up uh. about your face. Uh, do something and do it sh quick. Smills, Sh-Smills, look, I can understand, and you're right, this is not the time and the place for 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 <clears> your uh, personas right now, so I'm gonna go why, change. why don't you go change in the yeah. RV? Why don't you go change in the RV and come out in a minute, and we'll we'll just take take care of the oil change and we'll uh, and we'll get we'll, we'll get out of your hair. I find that highly offensive that you would ask me to take off my first suit. However, you are more than welcome to take off your first. I suit. expect, but I stay in mine. You don't just grab. No. Yeah, why don't Jesus. you? Why don't you go in there and uh, change into your uh, normal clothes? I will. Fine, do it. Then. <laughs> you too, young sir. Well, like your friend said. Hey, I. Because I tell you what, I don't like <clears throat> strangers coming around here asking questions about weird things that ain't so normal like themselves. That's right. So let's not be weird things and uh, respect the man's time. All right. I will go inside and change into my regular clothing for okay. you. Come on. All I right. know. I know. I know it was supposed to be your day. It was it was a big deal? But uh, th this is a small town. Mm. You did hand out those flyers. You know, you got the word out. It feels we so don't want awkward to not be out. wearing my fur skin. Right. I, I I understand. All right, march in. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you march into the RV. <laughs> You're gonna do your Rick Baker uh, transformation, I'll, yeah, right? Yeah. Go to the bathroom. Give me a, <laughs> give me a spirit roll. Uh, I will uh, assist you on the spirit oh. roll. Oh, nope, never mind. You already rolled. Okay. It's fine. I got a six. So. A six? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, Eleven. Okay, so there is some more <laughs> screaming and rocking from inside. <laughs> very briefly. And then uh, you can watch out in. of the ah! <laughs> it's, a, ah! it's, it's a whole ritual. You actually just get used to it. Right. So, and then, what are you doing? Yeah, it's, it's, well, it's, it's a funny old do? world. You know, it takes all kinds of people. What I, are we going to do? I, I, uh, I, the, the, the fursuit falls through me. <laughs> okay. Revealing me. I, uh, uh, look to where the guy is and, um, look at, uh, not, uh, not, uh, Thomas, but, uh, oh! Yeah. Here. Is this happening through the window? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> he 
you notice this. Oh. What is it exactly that you're uh, trying to get your friend in there to do with the, hey, I can see you in there. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> I can see through him. I can what? see right through him. What? I, no. I, yeah, I can see through I, him. I, I, you know, glass like that sometimes when it's thick. Miss, like don't you <laughs> disrespect my intelligence? All right, this boy is transparent as hell. So as 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 he looks over at uh, Angelica, yeah, I'm going to cast uh, an illusion. Okay. To to basically like fill in fill in the flesh, make him look okay. You know the like like a normal. So human give me your person. magic roll then. That's an oh, ace. Oh, you aced it. Oh, boy. Ah, we needed that. That is a 10. Okay. Nice. All right. So so are you, you, you're trying to make the illusion follow him? That's a bit harder to do because you don't know exactly how he's going to move. But something <laughs> maybe you could do instead would be to just put the illusion of him in the window so yes. he can just move out of the way or right. whatever. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, I, I, I duck down uh, uh, to the floor of the RV and then pop up as a fully formed... Illusion. I'm gonna need a stealth roll at a minus one to try and obscure what okay. you're doing because this guy is all riled uh, up. And and, and and to to assist with that, I'm going to uh, I'm going to boost his trait uh, so that you get in a, in a you get you move up to the next die. Uh, I don't. So oh, this is this is not a trait. This is a skill. Isn't it it, it? So is. And that. No, that okay. would work. That yeah. would work. However. Um, I don't. I don't know that you would know that's what he was doing in order to uh, in order to cast that. That's what from I was inside of the RV. Yeah. I, I was trying to indicate to him that I wanted him to cast the illusion. You spell. were. Yes. Oh, well, that's what that my case, thing was. I was like case, this. This oh. cast that first. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, oh, oh, so. So you're gonna give me a psionics roll. Psionics. Psionics is this. Okay. And you're gonna try and just just reach out with your mind and just touch the the corner of Tim's mind responsible for his <clears throat> arcane knowledge. Yes. And just electrify that. Let's read ectoplasmically. Well, it's, it's a it's, it's a four. four. That's a success. Four. Yeah. It's a success. Yeah, it's a success. Yeah, it. All right, so you're just boosting. That. You're boosting his spell casting, right? Yes. So you reach out with your mind to touch his, and as you do, it's like sending a, a lot of electrochemical energy flooding into his brain. Your die type and spell casting goes up by one. Okay. So now make your spell casting roll. Okay, well I had done that Rocky Mountain game four and I was about to make a stealth roll. Right. So do should I just re-roll the spell casting and then we'll take it from there? Yes. Okay. Because he boosted because, it. Yes. Oh, yes. I, well, I was, that was exactly he, what was going on. I was I was going to roll the. I mean, it was it was. It was the stealth. The, the stealth. Yeah. The, it was the, the stealth. Was, yeah. Never mind. It was the mind. stealth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was the stealth. Okay. So because we we, we already had a, a nice roll for for the illusion. I saw the illusion pop in. Gotcha. Existence. Gotcha. Okay. So my stealth goes up by one. One die type. I so yeah. I, I I'm going to it's because I want I want this thing to move the way that I would move, and so I'm going to go into that aspect of his brain that. That controls things that control things. Uh, gotcha. That <laughs> is, if that makes sense. And it's at a minus one too. Okay, so that's a four. So that's a success. Okay, this is going to be opposed though. I will oh. let you know. So okay, then I will then I will give another shot. At okay. We got this. We got this. Come on. I believe. I have faith. Ace. That's Ace. That's pretty good. It's off to a good start. Nice. Uh, Eleven, so ten. Ten. Okay, okay. so you that you got a ten. I will stand pat on ten. You <laughs> rolled a one, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use my reroll well. to reroll that. Okay. Then I'm gonna okay. use this no. one to reroll that. Really wants this. Uh, Inching up. Let me use one more Benny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Nice. Right. Oh, yeah. He ain't gonna see it. All right. So uh, all of this just happens instantaneously. Uh, yeah. This bit, for some reason, this bit you guys have practiced <laughs> uh, in your limited uh -huh. time together. Um, yeah, so the of course. illusion if I ever pops need to up. Become a real boy. He has no idea what you're. He's looking back and forth, trying to figure it out. And he looks back, and there's just normal, all American, all Russian yeah. Alex yeah. standing there doing. Just be oh. like, what? Who who like waves? You know what? And, you know, you know what? The... You know. Let me let me apologize. Let me apologize. Sometimes I get a bad case of the, the tremors and the the booze manies. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. I, I understand. I don't I don't think partake myself. I never drink. I apologize. Moonshine. This ain't uh, this ain't black me. You guys don't uh, leave Yelp reviews, do you? No. Oh no no no. What what a what man God. does in his garage is. Thank God. Because I can't I can't abide another negative Yelp review. 
That's gonna drive me just clean out of business. Bumper no. No, uh, you know, sorry. you know. In fact, I I could if you wanted to, and you know, play up the bump. No, it's all right. I think it's best if I just fix your oil leak and you go about your business and you get out of this town and away from these hateful, small-minded people that live here. <laughs> Plan for you and any hooch. Ah, uh, more for me then. Thank you. I never drink moonshine. <laughs> if we gave out Benny's, I would yeah. give you one for that. But we don't, so I won't. Um, <laughs> all right, so you've managed to uh, get rid of his suspicion. You come out of the RV looking all normal. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, 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 there are eyes that are so sweet. How about that? I apologize for yelling and judging okay. your face. Um, and then you're coming out as well. Um, I, well, hey, that's up to you, but... Like if we're are no, we talking out? Okay. No, I, I, um, yeah, I. You waved. I'm, I'm somewhere. a little. I'm, I'm going to sit. Have my, my. Well, I, I guess you're controlling my illusion. I'm going to be hiding on the floor, uh, uh, reeking of gasoline and feces. Uh, so, and so does our carpet. Yeah. Whatever, whatever my illusion does, my illusion does. Okay, so, so I'll try to follow his lead and interact with things appropriately. So it it just waves, you know, and. Gives him a you know a little nod and then sits down. Okay. And starts reading a book. <sighs> okay. Yeah. A book man. Oh, I thought you, you looked like you uh, wanted to say something. All right. Um. So he goes about like you know tinkering around underneath the RV. It takes about another half hour and uh, he helps himself to a couple more glasses of hooch as he goes. But eventually he gets out. There you go. Should be uh, good as new. Looked like you had a whole reserve of oil, like right behind your tailpipe. Must have leaked in there something fierce. So I went ahead and drained all that out. Um, I think that was partly part of your problem. I'm Couldn't sure. Couldn't figure yeah. out exactly where the line was coming from to feed that oil into that little reserve behind your tailpipe. But as far as I can tell, uh, I think I fixed the problem. Well, I'm I'm, I'm glad we uh, found someone who's so knowledgeable of the mechanic arts. You did luck out coming to smells. And, uh, hey, you got to see the bump, too, while you uh, were here. Absolutely. Well, uh, I'll tell all my friends. So, uh, $60, we said? $60. $60. Okay. So, I will, uh, pay Smill. Thank you very kindly. Absolutely. Thank you very kindly. Thank you very much. All right. Absolutely. Now, uh, listen. Listen. You guys are going to go out to the campgrounds. I recommend you keep quiet about it. All right? The town's a bit on edge, as you might can't tell from our, our combustible natures right now. Uh, okay. but, uh, you might want to keep this close to the vest. Mum's the word. Part. Mum is the word, sir. Yes. All right. All right. Well, have that'll a, do you. Have a blessed day. <laughs> hey, you do the same. <laughs> hey, you know what? Take a canister of hooch with you as you go. I, I mm, brew this stuff all the... Sure. There you yeah, go. That, that'll not Thank give you. to you. Uh, you know what? I'm going to start doing that as a coupon. Every, uh, oil change comes with a free canister of hooch. Well, that's, uh, awfully generous. Hooch. It's a hooch pond. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. All right. Okay, and you drive out of Smills Garage and Bump. Um, he gives you some directions to get to the campgrounds. Uh, honestly, it's just right down the main road out of town that goes up to the Tri Lake area. Can't miss it. Can't miss it. So we should hit that bump on the way out, though. For sure. Just drive on it. Right. No, no, drive no. Over. <laughs> I think I don't want smells coming after us. It might explode. <laughs> I don't know. That's true. We have no right. idea what's going on. We might there. explode. Shooka, shooka, shooka. <laughs> Rocky Mountain Games. Thank you very much for the bit. Hey. Thank you. Rocky Mountain uh, Do we want to just head to the lamp? Do we think, think so. it's worth talking to uh, the reporter? In I town? say we head I feel, like, we're, I feel yeah. like we get some action. I think we need to get some answers. Yeah. We've done a lot of talking, and I, I mean, got the, this katana the whole, here. I'd really like to swing at somebody. So. <laughs> the, the whole thing that they're not talking about is why would someone be wearing a diving suit out of the water to go commit this crime? Yeah, guy who was just dressed in a cool dog costume. <laughs> Why would that happen? That does seem strange. It does seem a little strange. I just figured they got out too fast. Well, but also, I think it's probably not a man in a diving suit, right? I mean, I'm, if you go into a lake wearing a diving suit, eventually well, you'll have to leave the lake. See, right? the the point of the the point of a diving way. suit is that someone who breathes air mm. could breathe water or breathe underwater and still get a pipeline of air. So if you were a fish person and you had a diving suit that was filled with water, it 
would let you get out of the water and do things on land. But the question really is... And we suspect there's a fish person. Why would a fish person be so pissed off at an RV? That's, that's what I'm curious of as well. Well, if we look around the town, they did say they were dumping trash back on the RV. Maybe people were littering in the lake. Mm. Mm. And it was a whole, you know, crying Indian thing. You don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I missed that reference, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, are you in, guys heading out to the campground? Yeah, let's do it. In Russia, it is the native Yakutsk people who are crying. In Soviet Russia, rather than a crying boyer, yeah, yeah, yes, crying the the the, 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 the Kazakh famous, people the famous who now Kazakh. have their own country, which is crazy. Uh, but they are the ones who are in the crying. Uh, so and the, the, the Mongols, but right. that is a separate country. Yes. And as they discuss the finer points of uh, <laughs> Russia, Russia. Uh, the Russian geopolitical uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> setup, you guys make your way along the road out to the Walnut Creek campground. This must be the Tri Lake area because uh, there are three lakes, uh, and they are fed by small creeks. And you're very confused as to whether or not the creeks are called Walnut Creek or the lakes are called Walnut Creek. The signage only only proves to further confuse the point. Um, this place is trashed. There is, like, it looks like a war zone here. Uh, the 4th of July happened hard. There mm. are cast off, uh, cardboard firework tubes. There's beer bottles and cans, wrappers from burger buns, all kinds of stuff. As you pull into the campground, which is largely deserted, except for all of the trash, you do see that there is a couple, uh, uh, there are a couple styrofoam coolers floating in the water, and then as you stand and watch what looks like a passed out, sunburned gentleman in just sw swim trunks and sunglasses just floats by on a tube. Uh, just completely, completely dead to the world as he floats down the beach, but not actually dead. You do see his chest rise and fall. <laughs> he may be part, he may be celebrated the birth of our nation a little too hard. Mm, mm. Um, this place is all kinds of messy. Um, I mean, give me a notice roll as you get out of the car here. Woo! Seven. There you go. Four. Seven, four. Seven. Gravity dice. Seven. Oh, there we go. Ooh, Double dice. Ah, whoa. Oh my oh. god, there's three. Wow. Uh, 18 plus five um, is 23. Geez. 23. Seven fours and a 23. <laughs> so um, you guys are just kind of looking around, trying to get the lay of the land, trying to see if there's anything to see. There really isn't, apart from like the abandonedness and the trash everywhere. But you hear a little boop, and, and you all kind of just turn your heads to look into the water, and you see ripples. Uh, for a moment, Alex, mm. you were not looking where everyone else was looking. You were just kind of letting your your attention and your 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 uh, psychic senses, your phantasmic yes. senses, just wander. And I've for always been a little fantastical. Just a brief moment, for just a brief moment, you see what looks like a scaly head wearing swim goggles. Oh, right. And then when you see it. You see, like what looks like maybe its eyebrow area, like raises up and it ducks beneath the water, and everyone turns their heads to see the ripples. How oh, very interesting! What ripples in water? Did no one else see this? It's probably just the fish like oxygen. I yeah. think fish. I have laid eyes upon fish nibbling something. Our fish right. friends. Uh, are there any other people around? Uh, apart from the passed out, from the passed out patriot that's floating off into the middle of the lake, <laughs> not that you see. All right, good. I am going to go have a look and see if I can make contact with the fish friend. Uh, Great. Uh, I think that you putting yourself in a large body of water please. is an excellent idea. All right, so I'll I'll phase through the uh, van and just start walking toward the water. Okay, you're just gonna I walk the, towards the water. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But I'm going to hold my hands out in a peaceful way. Okay. And I will just start walking into and through the water. Okay. And All Pirates of the Caribbean like. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> you best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. <laughs> um, so you just slowly walk into the water, mm -hmm. and uh, let's. Uh, your visibility is probably pretty decent, actually, since the water is not interfering with any physical, uh, you know, bits of your eyes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So as you walk down there, uh, you suddenly find yourself face to face with what looks like a humanoid fish person wearing swim goggles. 
goggles, <laughs> who is just sitting there, and as you get under the water and come face to face with him, yeah. he's suddenly face to face with you, and just <laughs> like just bubbles start flying out of his mouth, and he starts flapping backwards through the water to get away from you. <laughs> you notice as as he's doing that, he's wearing swim goggles. He appears to have the remains of like a Hawaiian lei around his neck, and he's wearing a skirt that looks like it's made up of discarded plastic bags mm. uh, tied around his waist with a rope as he furiously skirts through the water to get away from you. Uh, I will I will uh, pursue him, but... but <laughs> everything is fine. So you, you just kind of hold out your hands and you, you speak underwater in soothing tones and the sound carries beautifully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, from above, you all just see all of these ripples and activity happening beneath the water, but you can't see anything do under you, do there. You, do, you do you think he's okay? I, I don't know. I'm and the, the fish creature stops and just kind of floats back up to face you in the water mm -hmm. and turns his head one way and turns his head the other and kind of puts his nose close to you, mm -hmm. and you see in the water his nostrils flare as he breathes in water. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And he <laughs> looks at, he pauses and looks at you and makes sort of like a gurgling noise that you can only guess is approval of some kind. <laughs> oh my mm -hmm. gosh. And then kind of gets closer to you. It looks like he's trying to figure something out, but you're not sure if he speaks or or what. Mm hmm You can touch. Here. And he puts his hand through <laughs> your hand. <laughs> it's fine! It's fine. We are here to help. Do you speak English? It looks like, and I could be wrong, it looks like he appears to be trying to communicate. <laughs> <laughs> because of the shadowy, uh, the shadowy figures in chat unlocking that tier, this particular fish person, though he does not speak English, seems to be at least somewhat, somehow versed in the rules of charades. <laughs> <laughs> he has no digits, just mm. kind of like flippers that end in what look like claws that just stick out of his fins. But uh, he he kind of looks, when you say we are here to help, mm. and you kind of gesture back, he he swims up to the surface, and you guys see a scaly green head wearing swim goggles, like, crest the surface for a moment, and look at you, and then its eyes widen, and it goes back oh. down underwater. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that must have been oh, what he saw, man. Yeah, probably, yeah. Is he okay, you think? They're, they're friends. I mean, they're, there's almost nothing that can yeah. hurt him or hold him. Friends. Right. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Three? Mm -hmm. Friends. Yes. Mm -hmm. Four. Eh? Three. Friends. You? Yeah? Friend? Yes. This move. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's like inching closer to you, and he, again, his head and goggled eyes break the water, and he looks out. At, at the three of you, but he doesn't. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll wave to him. I'll wave to him. You? Friends? Me? Friends? You? <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. On the shore. Me. You? One, two, three. Four. <laughs> <laughs> ten? 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 <laughs> oh, all nice right. Well, <laughs> very interesting. Um, yes, I, you, you can come. So he swims, like, up near you, but doesn't want to, like, then just sort of squ yeah, yeah. skirts around you. <laughs> uh -huh. And sort of, like, trudges his way very hesitantly up out of the water towards you, like, looking around the whole, the whole way. And you all now can see he is wearing a skirt of plastic bags and a weird, like, rotten lay around his neck. So, yeah, I, I'll, I'll come up to the shore alongside... 
and I'll say, um... Oh, good, he didn't eat you. You found him. Yeah. Uh, yes, well, I don't know if this is the one that was causing the mischief, but, um, this is my new friend, um, Bubbly. I don't know. Right. Very nice to meet you, Bubbly. Hello. <clears throat> yes, he, uh, uh, I believe he has informed me that there are quite a few of these fish folk living in the lake. Ah. What do you, do you not like about that? And I'm going to point at the RV. Bad. And he, he gestures at the RV and then gestures at the water and seems to be pointing at all of the different like bits ah. of trash around. Um, I hate to point this out, but you're wearing a lot of that trash. It's like clothes, I guess. But isn't that very, very the nice, same very stylish, very that stylish. the same thing? Trash. Yeah, you look like you're wearing trash. That looks like what you see in your own underpants. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let, uh, let so, me try. Let me try. Oh, please, if, uh, if you wish to try something. Maybe it's the goggles and the clothing are different from the other trash that disintegrates in the water, or... <laughs> maybe if they're trying to look like us? He... All of a sudden, snaps his head like off to the north, like and cocks it like he's listening for something. Everyone, give me a notice roll. Aww. Nice. Uh, I will. I will Benny that. Okay. Oh, there's Ace. Oh my God. Dang. Seven. Seven. Nine. Nine. Three. Three. Five. Okay, so you don't hear anything. You're kind of hung up on the fish man. Yeah. Um, the rest of you hear what sounds like some sort of like distant music. You hear that music. It sounds like rock and roll music, and you hear a little bit of sh boisterous shouting as well. And he kind of snaps his head up. Um, do you not like music? <laughs> He's pointing at all the bits of trash. Oh, I, oh the, 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 the many people who made the music left all the trash. So uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go around and pick up the trash that he was talking about or attempt to. All right. No. Okay. Here, I have an idea. Oh, there we go. Ace. Nine. Okay, so you go over and pick up a piece of trash. <laughs> yes, pick up a piece of trash. I walk over to a garbage can, and throw the trash into the garbage can. I agree. I agree. I agree. So. I think I know what is going on here. Well, okay. I'm still confused about the plastic bags he's wearing, but... That the music gets matter. louder, and he again looks back and shakes his fist, and then he, he just seems really frustrated, and he turns around and just starts slapping the water at the shore of the lake, and as he does that, more scaly heads start uh, breaking okay. the edge of the water. We need, we, we need to calm this down. That, that music, that music is... Yeah. Whoever those are, mm -hmm. I mean, probably a bunch of frat kids or something. I can go scare them. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, good. Uh, let's uh, let's yeah, head no. there. Okay. Us, we will push. You. Is it because the ghost they they yeah. see because they see <laughs> you, you they see you <laughs> and then and then blah 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 
Oh, I'm gonna stay I, with I, the fish. <laughs> I will keep a, a connection has been made. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. Um, <laughs> Moving um, the plastic bags around. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna like pick up trash while they're just sitting there, just like. Yes, I, we will stay behind and um, <laughs> deal with this litter situation. Try to get at least this area under control. Perhaps you could deal with the rowdy teenagers. Yeah. And if you need help, just holler. All right. Let's do this. You could be there very quickly and put a good scare into them. <laughs> okay. All right. We have a plan. So you guys are going to stay here with the fish people? Yes. yes. And try and keep them from going off and massacring uh, whoever's over there? Right. Really, yes. Well, oh. yes, I'm, I'm, I'm going to uh, start picking up litter and cleaning the area and just being a general... They are very appreciative. Hey. Uh, and you guys are going to go off uh, down the road, Toward back the back on the other side of the, yeah. the creek Toward, or lake. Where the, where, the, where the rock and roll music is coming from and those darn kids. Okay. All right. Um, so you guys are hanging out with the fish people. Uh, you guys just head off down the road just and go north for about, like, it's about a 15-minute walk to circumvent the, this area of the lake and get around to the edge of the trees. And as you kind of turn through that clearing, the music is getting louder and louder, and it's like hardcore death metal music. And as you turn the corner, you see what looks like a ramshackle hut. And outside of it are what look like six of the, like, biggest, meanest bikers you have ever seen in your life. Uh, one of one of them is wearing no shirt and just a leather vest and is feeding what looks like most of a chicken carcass to a very vicious looking Rottweiler. Uh. And they are just driving, like some of them are getting on their bikes and just driving them around in donuts. They're swilling beer bottles and just smashing them down on the ground and just engaging in some you know, good old-fashioned, violent revelry. So, I want to uh, put my helmet on. Okay. I'm gonna oh, man. not worry oh, no. about the... Oh, shit. <laughs> not worry real. about the jacket anymore. Okay. Um, and I want to get out. I'm not going to, like, pull the sword, but I'll probably have it, you know, like, on my back. Okay. And, and, and just step out and go, excuse me, which I'm sure they won't be able to hear me, but still trying to go. Is, is there, like... Is there, there's music playing? Oh yeah, there, very so, loud music. So what, what is that coming out of? Uh, it looks like some sort of like old fashioned boom box, uh, mm. like a cassette deck boom box that uh, is set up on the front porch of their, of their place. So you step out of the, of the woods? Mm-hmm. And yeah, I follow. Okay, immediately the one uh, wearing the vest with no shirt just like looks up. And holds up uh, one hand, and another <laughs> one like gets off his bike and runs over and stops the music. Record scratch. Ho oh, there! Um, what yeah. the hell are you doing here? Well, we're here to ask you to turn that music down and maybe stop littering so much. <laughs> boys, boys, you hear that? Uh, Young, uh, young shoulder blades here wants us to uh, turn off the music and stop littering. You, miss, do you know who it is you're talking to? Do you, do you, do you know, know who it is you're talking, talking to? <laughs> that was a neat trick. <laughs> this here's the uh, Ohio Disciples Biker Club. What does that even mean? What does it mean? What it means is once you heard of us, we got to take care of you. All right, well, here, let My me... My name's Big Dan. Okay, Big Dan, let me ask you And I happen to run this group here. Can you turn it down and stop littering? And then after I say that, I'm going to light my sword on fire. You're going to light your sword on fire? Yeah. Boy, last result, last result. No. Okay, all right, so as that happens, they, like, a, a couple of them shrink back, and... I can't hold this properly. Oh, wait, why am I rolling that? Uh, a right, couple of them sword, shrink back. Not result. But they don't appear overly terrified of your flaming sword. Ho <laughs> look! She done rubbed it up with oil and then lit it on fire, and that's a pretty party trick. Uh, when I touch it to find out. <laughs> Miss, are you challenging us? Oh, listen oh, here, Big they're Dan. They're smart too. I'm gonna. Can I? I, I want to talk to Jordan for a moment. Okay. Uh, I would like to give you a Benny. Okay. To make a minor contribution to what happened on the on the drive up here. Okay. 
What it is, is I used the document maker okay. to create for myself uh, and for Angelica identification that uh, says that we are part of the uh, extreme militant branch of the EPA. Okay. Agents, Agents Smith and Johnson. Okay. Which I am now going to march up to Big Dan saying, you see these badges? Then flip it down. We're here with the extreme branch of the EPA, and your shitholes have been causing noise pollution and physical pollution in this area, and it's time for you to shut it off. He just kind of looks at you for a little bit, and he grabs the document from you and looks at it. Boys, you hear that? These here folks are representatives of the extreme branch of the Environmental Protection Agency. You, you <laughs> the notice, EBEPA. You, you notice that the bikers are kind of fanning out a little bit behind uh, Big Dan. Well, let me tell you something, EBEPA. We're about as conservative as they come around these parts. So Then you understand about conserving the beauty of this country for the next generations that arrive. Something that you are disturbing right now. I never thought so, about it like that. I'm sure you can understand the seriousness of the situation. Skeeter, you think this man has a point? <laughs> I don't know, I don't, I don't know. No, Skeeter, shut up and think about it for a second. You think he has a point? Skeeter, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Pull! And he, sh he sh like throws the paperwork up in the air and Skeeter pulls a pistol out of his uh, belt and just fires at it. Woo! Well, now you ain't nobody. And uh, if you are a government branch, we don't exactly want our activities tracked since we get up to a little bit of anarcho-communistic behavior. So I think it's about time for us to take these government boys and put them in the ground. You and it, as he says that, he pulls a magnum out of his belt and the other ones start whirling chains and it looks like you're in a combat. Oh my gosh. Boy. So as, as a free action, I, 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 as a free action, I'm just going to say, through due, <laughs> through due, process we have warned you of your rights and responsibilities what happens next is on your hands so heard <laughs> all right so you two are not going to be in this first round of combat that's right you two are going to be so you get a five of spades tim you get an eight of diamonds and the bikers get an ace oh, of cards at this Boy. point would anyone like to spend a penny to redraw their mm. uh their card no 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 nope. All right. I will sit on my Benny. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the bikers are fanned out around you. Zack the dog is growling menacingly, and Big Dan has pulled a magnum out of his uh, out of his waistband as you guys prepare for battle. Um, Big Dan's gonna open up with a shot at uh, Mr. E B E P A over here. All right. So um, he's he's standing not that far away from you, and he's just gonna try and blast you with the magnum. All right. Wait, what, what, it. it was extra oh. what now? The, the, the extreme, extreme branch, branch. Of the EPA. Extreme, like a uh, self-described extreme yes. branch. Yeah. That is a seven, All but right. that is that is not a raise, so it is going to be a hit though. Okay. Are, are we close enough that it apply to my parry? No, okay. no, he's still a little bit away from you. Uh, so that is eight damage that he's doing. So what is your toughness? Six. Six. Okay, so he fires this at you, and your dampiric instincts kick in as you just whirl off to the side, but he grazes your arm, spinning your, your hand off behind you. This is a high-caliber gun. You are shaken, but you are not wounded. Uh, then three of these other guys are just gonna run in at you and just start uh, just start trying to whip you with chains. Sure. All yeah. right, so uh, let's do these one at a time here. First one. Oh. Six. Seven. So what's your parry? My parry is five. Five. So okay. So uh, he is just going to wail on you with this chain. So uh, let's do strength plus d4 there. Five. That aced. Nine. 
Ooh. 12 no. damage. What's your toughness? Man, your games are so much fun to watch. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Six. Six? Okay, uh, so that is a success with a raise. Yes. So you are going to take a wound unless you want to spend a Benny to try and soak this. Uh, Remember, you have two more attacks coming after this. Yeah, I think I probably have to because it's only going to get harder once I'm taking a wound. Sure. Okay. So spend your Benny, and then you're going to make a soak roll. So this is going to be your vigor. All right. And your d6, and you're going to roll those both together. Um, uh, that is one success. I think it's me. One success. Yeah, yeah, so you do fire. soak the wound, yeah, and as a fun side effect of that, you unshake as well. Uh, as he comes up and just tries to no. just whap you with this chain, you raise up your arm and the chain wraps around it, and you try and yank it out of his hand, but you, he keeps a grip on it and unwinds it back, but you do gotcha. not take any damage from that. Next one. That's a two, that's gonna miss. And the third attack. A one. Ooh. All right, so the others, now you're ready for them. They're whirling these chains around behind you, but you're bobbing and weaving. Your dampiric reflex is kicking in as you try and stay one step ahead of them. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dumb two of the fear. other ones are going to run in at you. She's going to wreck them. Yeah. What is your parry? Seven. Seven. Whoa. Neither one of these hit as they come in screaming and whirling their chains. You just grab them and sweep them away with your flaming katana. However, behind them comes loping towards you, Zack the Rottweiler, and he leaps for you and is going to try Zach. and just clamp down on you with his jaws. Oh it's no. Ace on the D6. Okay. Nine. Nine is gonna clear your parry, right? Mm -hmm. But it's not with a raise. So, uh, let's see, his strength is uh, it's D6, he's all right. He's all right. Seven damage, what's your toughness? Seven. Seven, all right, so the dog leaps up at you, runs up the front of your blazer, just shredding it as he tries to just clamp his mighty jaws down on your throat. But you manage to, to just bring the arm with the sleeve of it in his way and just get it tangled up in his mouth. Mm -hmm. You are, however, a little bit shaken yeah. by this Rottweiler trying to tear your throat out. A little bit, a little, um, bit, a little bit. And that is the end of the biker's turn. So you are up next, Angelica. First uh, things first, you're shaken, so you gotta yeah. unshake. You can either spend a Benny to unshake automatically, or you can make a spirit roll. Now, you can spend the Benny after you make the spirit roll, That's in correct. case you don't. <sighs> like, if you fail. No, I want to re-roll it. Are you going to re-roll it with, Boy. okay? There we go. I aced it. Okay. Okay. Nice yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're great. You're unshaken. <laughs> Give right. me that back. Um. So there are two guys and... Two guys and a dog. But, okay. So I think as the dog was coming up, because I want to attack these guys, because, you know, it's not the dog's fault. It's not his fault. Well, um, no, it absolutely is. <laughs> yeah, some dogs He's are the evil. brains. <laughs> yeah. Some dogs are evil, and this dog is evil. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I pretty much want, yeah, they, they came out with chains as well. Yeah. So I swept those away, and then I just want to come right back at them with this. I mean, you know, I tried to do the nonviolence thing. You did. You They're did try. <laughs> um, so you were going to just slice one of them? Right at the neck. Okay. Give me a fighting roll. Fighting. Uh, I didn't have that die out yet. And are you trying to, like, are you trying to kill them? I don't think she thinks about things like that. That's, a good, that's a good point. Uh, that's a fair point. Uh, <laughs> Leave no trace. Yeah. That's a six. A well, six? No one finds the yes. bodies. That does clear their parry. Well then. Roll damage. Okay. Strength plus D6 plus one with your what sword. Is my strength? Uh, 11. 11. Who oh boy. All right, so you swing your sword out and slice right for his neck mm -hmm. and just, it looks like you miss. But then uh, just a gout of blood shoots out of the front of his neck. And as he pulls his hands up to it, trying desperately to keep his life force inside of his body, you hear, Bring! As, as your sword makes the trademark coin collecting noise yes. oh, nice. that accompanies you oh. taking one of my bennies That's for your own. Thank you. Oh, oh my gosh. And uh, the the other guy so like cute. jumps back a little bit, but Zack the dog goes down on all fours and just growls at you. Oh, I can get some from you too. Hand in your card. Next up, she Tim. Without her accent. Wow. Yeah. Um. Tim, you got three guys on you. Yeah, plus, I don't, plus Big Dan. I don't know if I should go uh, Big Dan. defensive or offensive here. Offensive. Go for the throw. Um, so so here, here's, Time here, to feast. here's what I would like to do. Okay. All right. I would like to use some magic 
to enable some protection, but also use that as an intimidation check. Okay. So how would that work in the in the game if I want to take multiple actions? So what I'm going to say is um, you're going to use your magic to cast protection first. Right. And then I'll, I'll let you do uh, an intimidation roll right after that. It's okay. multi-action, so it's going to be minus two to both of those. Right. Um, but I'll give you a plus one for using your spell casting as part of your intimidation. Okay. So the, the way that this works is my protection spell uh, cloaks a person in 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 a cape of darkness. Okay. And so I want to cast that and then have it flare as I make the intimidation just to be like, you know. Sounds good to me. Power, powers of hell. So first spell ish. casting at a minus two. Uh, well, that, that didn't succeed, so I, I'm quite enough. I'm out. Oh, you don't have anything to reroll. There's I this table reroll. Yeah, the oh, there's a table reroll. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, okay. Try I recommend the table using re-roll. it. Yeah. I have rerolls too. You can't trade. Can't share. I can't trade. You can't, you can't trade rerolls. No, man. Those were gifted to you. Do you, do you Thank the... you, mostly Eric and <laughs> Lady. Uh, and the same thing. So no. Okay. Not in in the in the so you nature. You try and reach into your uh, inner reserves and cloak yourself in darkness, but at that moment, the br- the breeze just rustles the the branches to the side and. And a beam of sunlight just comes right down oh. and strikes you, momentarily distracting you. However, you did announce you were going to intimidate. You can still intimidate, okay? How, uh, but you're not going to get the bonus from having cast your spell. So it's intimidation at a minus two. Sure. And are you intimidating Big Dan? Yes. Okay. This is not a skill that I'm good at. However, that's an ace Ooh. on a. Oh, I, yeah. yeah. What die is that? It's a d4. D4. Oh, there's another four. Got a um, weird d4. An eight. It's a try d4. Oh. Okay. Yep. Fuck. Doom, 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 doom. That's another four. Twelve. Wow. Okay. That's another four. Sixteen. Wow. Okay, keep it going. Got a one in four chance. Oh. Seventeen Ooh. minus two, two, which is a fifteen. Which is a fifteen. Pretty good. Let's see if Big Dan can beat that. Big Dan cannot beat that. Okay. <laughs> so I think that what happens is the cloak doesn't appear, the sunlight hits me, and I involuntarily flinch back and hiss, which reveals my fangs. Mother of God! What in the hell are you? The extreme branch of the EPA. <laughs> All the more reason to put you down. But he seems a little bit uh, taken off. So you beat him. You can choose to make him distracted which will make give him a penalty to everything he tries to do, or you can make him vulnerable, which gives everyone a bonus to anything they try and do against him. Uh, I will make him distracted, I think, because distracted. I don't have any allies who are gonna show up in time to make use of that. Sounds good, hand in your card. I did, you did, great. All right, so at this point, you guys from across the lake uh, hear Here. the sound of gunfire and screaming and what sounds like someone having their throat torn out. <laughs> And as that's happening, the fish people are getting really agitated. And they, they st- the, the one who you've been talking to starts pointing over there and all the other fish people, like their heads start dipping below the water oh, and you no. see ripples heading oh, off shit. that way. I You stay, stay, we, we. <laughs> I mean. Uh... <laughs> if you. Yay! I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. He looks, he looks between you and his people, and you and his people. <laughs> and he dives into the water and looks like he's heading off that way. These guys are moving really quick through the water. If you wanted, you might be able to grab onto him and get a, <laughs> uh, get a quicker entrance into this fight. That, yeah. I'm going in. All right, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know I'll, if you're gonna be able well, to. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll hop on your back. And then okay. you can hop on his back. So give me an athletic. I'm very light though. All right, wait, hold on, athletic. And you are in human form right now, yeah, right? Yeah. So just your... if I switched out, would it be better? Maybe not right now. Okay. You're gonna lose him if you take the time to switch out. Uh, seven. Seven. Okay. So you jump into the water and just grab onto his leg, and he looks back startled, but then sees you and just kind of <laughs> and keeps going. And you're gonna try and grab onto her. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, grab onto her foot. Yes, exactly. That's that's uh, the this. first one. 
<laughs> he aced it. All right. Nine. All right. With with all of the immediacy of the situation, you instantly <gasps> retain, like, become tangible and uh, give me athletics to reach out and grab onto her. Can I support uh, by, like, holding wait. back with one arm? Strength? Yes. Uh, yes. Give me an athletics roll real quick. She's going to support you. Okay. No, ath- athletics. Oh, 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 no. Four. So athletics plus one okay. from the support no. as, as Pip reaches back to grab you. Five. Four That's a four with a raise. Five. Two fives. You got it. She Woo! grabs. She grabs your hand, and Woo! and all of a sudden, it's like you're on a motorboat underwater, like a like a like a dolphin. You're swimming through the water, breezing across the lake. Next turn, you're gonna be there, but not <laughs> this turn. Okay. All right. <sighs> Tim, eight of spades. Jack of hearts for Angelica. Ten of hearts for the biker Ooh. gang. Mm-hmm. Angelica, you're up first. Okay. You got Zack the dog and one very shaken looking dude who's not actually shaken. He just saw his friend get killed in front of him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's decapitated. Not, not mechanically shaken. Uh, yep. Just. So I, this says it's a two handed weapon. Does that mean I absolutely have to use both hands to? Uh, I, I think there is a rule where I I don't remember what, exactly what the rule is. So I'm going to say if well, you don't use both hands, you're going to be at a minus two to fight. So let me it. tell you what I want to do. What okay. I really want to do because I, I imagine I'm like staring at this dog. I've just sliced off this other guy's head. And what I really want to do is like do a like like I'm gonna reach down, do a throwing action to see if I can just get the dog to think I've thrown. You know, go you're gonna try and fake out the dog with some fetch. Yeah, and then at the same time I want to stab the other guy. So I want to like use this as a distraction to just like completely. Okay, so I'm gonna say you'd be a minus two to fake out the dog and a minus four to hit that other guy. Uh, I, I have trademark weapon. What does that do again? Oh, it gives you plus one. So uh, minus two to distract the dog, minus three to hit the other guy. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. So I guess I'll do Woo. distract the dog first. What do I roll? Uh, that is going to be performance. <laughs> do you have performance? So D4 minus 4 then. You got this. I believe in you. Everyone believes in you. We're all counting on you. <laughs> That's a zero. <laughs> that is a zero. Reroll. Reroll. Let's just come on. Reroll. Not good. That's a minus one. Okay. So. I'm doing these things at the same time, so can I just roll the other one? This one's failing, mm-hmm. but before we figure out what's ha- what happens, can I roll the attack? No. Okay. You can, if you decide that you fail on um, distracting the dog, we well, can't, we won't come back to it. You'll just fail doing that and then get to try and attack the other guy. Right. That's what I'm. I'm just saying as far as describing it goes. Just what? Can I? I'm, I'm gonna try to roll one more time. Distracting the dog. Yeah. Okay. Well, that time I You guess. aced it. <sighs> it's a three, right? Because I'm at a mi- minus four? Uh, yes. It's a three. Neat. It's one shy. Mm. So, but these t- these are two actions I'm doing at the same time. I'm essentially doing this. Okay. So, uh, my attack is... So you make a motion like you're throwing something, but Zach doesn't give a shit. <laughs> he is going to tear your throat out. And Meanwhile... Minus two. Minus four on this one. Oh, damn, really? Yeah, because it's a, it's a, or sorry, minus three, because you have trademark weapon. Another Benny, wow, <laughs> all right, you spent all your bennies. Oh, man. There we go. Aced it. I aced it. Uh, 12 so minus, minus three. Oh, minus three, so that's a nine. Yep, which is, uh, that hits him with a raise. So you're going to roll your strength plus d6. Plus another right. D6, plus one. So I throw, the dog doesn't go for it. Dog stab. doesn't care. Okay. Uh, the biker was a bit distracted by what you were throwing to the dog there. <laughs> so an extra D6, you mm-hmm. think? Uh, 10. 10. Do you want to stand yes. on 10? I mean, I feel like 10's pretty good against a guy. It's your decision. Yeah, I do. I have one Benny left. Do you want to use it? No. Okay, you stab him in the stomach and he dies. <laughs> um, <boom-y! laughs> ah, choo, yes. choo, choo. Your sword sucks up another bit of luck from this Thank person. You for all this all luck the luck he me. had, uh, I guess he stored it in Zookie his intestines, Oon. which are now outside of his body. Yeah. Uh, so he's down, and the dog is still growling. And so he had a lucky feeling in his gut. <laughs> he did. Not anymore, though. And in your cart. All right, next up, it's the bikers. Big Dan is going to go first, but he is distracted. So uh, he is going to try and fire off another shot at you, Tim. Tim. Yep. Oh, we aced it. 
10 minus two is an eight, which is a success with a yep. raise. Uh, so he is going to do 3d6 damage with this magnum. Oh shit, that is 14, <sighs> 17 damage. What's your toughness? Ouch, six. Six, so that is a hit with uh, two raises. So you would be shaken and take two wounds. Uh, and you I don't have, have any no way to choice. All so right. that's what happens. So you are shaken and you take a gut shot, Tim. You just feel oh. like you just got oh, oh, no. like something someone punches you harder than you've ever been punched in the stomach and you feel wet blood or cold blood, lukewarm tepid blood blossoming out of your uh out of the, the hole that is now in your stomach as you try and keep yourself together. Sure. Uh, Ain't so extreme oh, now, is ya EPA? <laughs> Get him, boys. Oh, right. We have some more. Yeah, there's a few more yeah, guys yeah. on you. However, <laughs> not all of them are good. Now that you're gut shot, one of them's just going to come up with a chain. The other two see this lady stabbing everyone to death, and they're going to go after her. So one comes up to you. What's your parry? Uh, five. Ah, so that is going to hit. All right. That's an ace. Six. Eight damage. And your toughness again is yeah, six, six. But I'm shaken, so I will take a wound. You will take which another wound. Is, uh, incapacitates me, right? No, you are you have three oh, wounds. You're one. still okay. up. You're still up. But you Woo, you just the, get minus three whapped everything. in the side of the face with a chain, and it <sighs> just makes you feel your eyes swelling up as your head is just shaken. You are not feeling great, Tim. Uh, these other two are going to try and attack Sword Lady here, and they are going to gang up on you with the dog. So they're each going to get a plus two. Cheers. Three. Uh, four, none, none of that's gonna clear your parry. They come running up. Uh, however, Zack is still here. Zack is still here. Here comes Zack. Zack totally misses. Yeah. Yeah. Zack is still there. They all get in each other's way and they like hit Zack with the chain. It's very confusing. Then he bites them. Yep. They go down. <laughs> As all of that happens, fish people explode out of the water from the other <laughs> side of the... <laughs> What the hell is going on here? Well, we were Holy shit! trying to save you from that, but... And then behind them <laughs> comes a very wet and bedraggled looking Pip and a ghost. Oh, <laughs> we made it! I told you we were the extreme branch. Son of a shit! <laughs> um... They managed to keep it together, though. Even seeing the ghosts and fi the, their blood is up, and now they're they're ready for it. The fish people go running up with their claws out. Did you want to try and keep like s stop them, or you want to let them go? I mean, at this point, I mean, <laughs> I don't know if these bikers are that good and all. I don't know. Well, they're narco. Oh wait, you don't know any of this stuff because you did <laughs> narco anarchists. <laughs> A narco communist. Co com oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah, I don't know any of this. Yeah, so. Don't, don't. Well, they are polluters. <laughs> and, and, yeah. I mean. And, and our friend has been gut shy. Yeah. So, it, I don't know. I say we unleash the merfolk. I say as they're jumping out of the water, I like transform. Oh, cool. <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. I'll let you do it. Give me a spirit roll. Oh, that's right. I read. Oh. Oh no! Two. Benny it, Benny it, yeah, Benny and it. it. B -b -b Benny and it. Six. Oh, Double you ace it on both. Okay, you don't even have to keep rolling. You do it. Yeah. As you flip up out of the water, you you just use your momentum to spin through the air and you shriek and uh, and explode into your hybrid chinchilla oh, form. That's disconcerting. And then come down on the ground in attack chinchilla pose, whatever that might look like. <laughs> Try is quick to warm you. You're me. Yes, you're quick. I'm very forgot about that. that. Okay, all right, so you are dealt in. You get a nine of spades. Yeah. Alex, four of spades. Yay. Yay. The quick Joker! Joker! Oh, everybody. I never got my action. What is fleet footage? You didn't get um, your action? No, because I was waiting for the other guys to attack. Right, right. Yeah. So I will hold off on giving you okay. this, Benny. Take your action. Okay. So my action is that I am going to uh, unleash a bolt. Okay. At, uh, at uh, Big Tim. Big Dan. I'm sorry, Big Dan. You're Big Tim. My, yeah. Big uh, I'm Big Tim. <laughs> uh, yes, at Big Dan. And it's not one of the, it's one of the basic rules. Can I spend extra to increase the damage? Uh, yes, you can make it, okay. uh, you That's can spend an extra power point to make it do 3d6. Great. So okay. let's see if it goes off. So I'm going to say, as you like reach out your hand, you just let the blood that is flowing freely from your wounds, like just sort of like congeal into a mass in the palm of your hand, and then you just fire that off at uh, Big Dan. Gross. Right? That's Dom Peters gross. for you. 
Uh, six minus three is not a success. So it flies wildly off. Okay, and hit, hits a tree. It like just blows a tree in half. Sure, I'm glad that missed me. I got bigger <laughs> problems here. There's fish folk everywhere. All right, hand in your card. You yes. did. Yep. Now. Everyone gets a Benny for the Joker. Yay! Yay! A Joker was drawn. You have a Benny finally. Woo! So many Bennies. And yes, I know. I wish you could give them. You get a three right? of hearts. Oh, good. The bikers get a three of clubs. They are pretty low. I've just been rolling so well. <laughs> All right, um, you I'm can go at any point. Of my own I'm, just, I'm gonna get a new card. You're gonna get a new card. I'm gonna immediately turn that in because I need Jack to go clubs? faster. How about that? Um, I'll go. I'll go. Are oh, you gonna go now, there Joker? Two, two people over here. Two guys and a Zach. Right. So I if. Can I can I basically uh, slice through both of them? Uh, you want to make two attacks? You're saying yes. You're going to be at a minus two for each Am attack. Am I? No, because if you're Joker, you get a plus two, so no penalty. I do. No penalty. And your wow. trademark weapon. So you're uh -huh. at plus one. You're at plus one. Oh, that's right. Plus one to both. Yeah. So I just, as they come over, I just want to be like, no, I'm not going to. Snicker snack. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's a six. Six will hit. Roll damage. Sweet. Um, Strength plus d6 plus one. I'm gonna re-roll my damage. Okay. Okay. Is this for both of the attacks, or is this just one attack? Just one attack. Okay. Really? That's oh, more no, damage. That's a seven, I thought right? it was a one. Uh, uh nine. Plus one. Ten. Plus two for your joker. Hooray! Twelve! <laughs> nice. You slice him down. Snicker! <laughs> yeah! But I have no more luck. Kalu, give, no, give me those. Those are Big Dan. You hit Big Dan then. All right, uh, but he's down. He is out. Next one. This is Snack. Uh, uh, six. Six, six will hit. Enough. Sweet. Uh, same thing. Okay. Ooh, that's an ace. Oh, no. Uh, eight, nine, ten again. Plus three. Right. Uh, so, oh, yeah. Plus two. Yeah, he's right, totally, yeah. Snack. Snacked. He got snacked. Uh, he Snack falls to the ground. Time. As soon as I do that, I just want to look at the dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, intimidate that dog. <laughs> the dog. The dog glowers at you like fetid, bloody saliva dripping from its mouth. <laughs> uh, it, it does not. Give me. Give you what? I want more. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, next up is Tim. I have mine. Okay. Big Tim. Uh, I need all of these bennies. I am going no to. Uh, I'm going to attempt I, to. I, Tim, oh, you're unshaking. Oh right, I have to unshake. I'm sorry, I've forgotten about that. So yeah, let me let me try and unshake here. Okay. Uh, Spirit D6. And you are at minus three because you have. I three am minus three. Some people hear it. Some people feel it. Uh, I am not able to unshake, Dang. so I do nothing. Okay, so you are trying to reach out to maybe do something else mystical and cool, but as you do, uh, something ropey kind of starts leaking out of the hole on your side, and you desperately try and plug that back in. A sausage case. It looks like Tim is in bad shape. Yeah, he sure is. Um, all right, so next up is going to be our hybridized wear chinchilla. Oh, God. <laughs> the stuff of nightmares. Yes. Uh, I cannot heal, right? Correct. Okay, just yes. making sure. Yes. <laughs> okay, great. Um, I'm gonna look at whoever's closest then and probably attack them. I think there is one person still oh. uh, up that hits him with a chain. There's whoever's Big Dan, him. and then there's Zach. I'm gonna go whoever's on him. Okay, so Big Dan has a gun trained on him, and then there's a dude with a chain, so it's between those two. Big Dan looks really dangerous. Yeah, I'll, okay, fine. You go Dan. for Big Dan? All right. <laughs> so you run up and you do whatever a chinchilla does when it's running quickly, and you run up to Big Those Dan. Chinchilla noises. Yeah. yeah. And you're just going to try and, like, just chill a cha cha. Just seven. attack him? Yeah, I, Give me I, a fighting I don't know what else I do. I'm assuming it's just claws. Yeah. Give me a fighting right. roll. And that's going to be a. That's a, Should it's be a physical fighting. skill under agility. Oh, so, fighting, D8. And. We said we're homebrewing this, uh, that when you're in your hybridized form, your die type's physical or one higher, so it's a D10. D10. Oh. That's the bonus for being a were chinchilla. Yeah. <laughs> vicious. Out. They are vicious. Nine and nine? Uh, nine six? and six. six. All right, you aced on the nine wild die. Nine and six die. again. I leave you alone. And Ooh. that's a five. So that's nice. an 11. Uh, that is going to clear Big Dan's parry with a raise. So Whoa. what's going to happen is, uh, what is your strength? Uh -oh. Um, strength is 1d6. Is it, does so that go a, it's up? It's a d8 right now. D8. And then you also have chinchilla claws, so I'm gonna say you do d8 plus a d4. <laughs> and because you hit him with a raise, you got him in a vital area, so add another d6 to that. <laughs> right. 
Um, I got a five, three, one, and three. So five. Uh, no, you add oh. them all together. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be four plus three, seven plus five, twelve. Twelve. Uh, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna shake him and wound him. Uh, you come up behind him as he's got his gun trained on Tim, and you just <laughs> unleash chinchilla hell on him. His face. Uh, he has no idea what's going as you just tear into his just slightly covered torso. He's just wearing a leather vest and nothing else, and you're opening up deep gashes as Big Dan cries out, "What in the goddamn hell is happening back there?" <laughs> Nice job, hand in your card. All right, Rest Alex. Alex. Task force. Alex? <laughs> <laughs> my friend, you're not going to die on my watch. Um, uh, my, you say uh, gliding over to him <laughs> in the air. <laughs> <laughs> um, and and uh, green goo sort of uh, spits out from my fingers and uh, uh, it shoots into your wounds. And Ooh. as you're gliding over there, Zach healing. and the, another one of the biker both try and like jump out and bite you and just go <laughs> right through you. You are completely <laughs> ethereal and uh, unaffected. I am man on a mission. I have to save my friend. Uh, and this is, I do D6. This is right? your psionics. My yeah, psionics, D6. okay. Uh, five? Five, that is a success. Okay. So as you do that, ectoplasmically, you close up that wound at least a little bit. So you are healed of one wound and you are no Ooh. longer shaken. Ooh, that's nice. Well done. Nice Live support my there, Alex. Nice support. I am support. Yay. I am healer. All right. <laughs> now, Big Dan, the remaining biker, and Zach are very confused. They're being beset on all sides. Uh, the biker and, Za nice. and Zach look a little unsure, but Big Dan says, No, we ain't running. We're going to take these all out, these unnatural sons of bitches. <laughs> um, and Big Dan. Oh, my name ain't Big Dan Bullet. <laughs> Big Dan is going to fire the rest of the uh, the three three no, more shots no, in his gun. He's going to fire one at you. Okay. He's going to fire one at Tim, and he's going to fire one at you. So you, he's got to clear your parry. Yeah. So here's what he is going to fire at you. And this is at a minus four. Great. Uh, yeah, that's not going to do it. I'm going to re-roll that with a Benny. Uh, does he unshake oh. first? Oh, you're right. He's got to unshake. Uh, you know what? I'm going to spend a Benny to automatically okay. unshake him. He's now out of potential resources, but he does ace that. Ten mm. minus four is a six. What seven. is your parry? Your parry is a seven. Oh. All right. It's a hybrid, so so he look. fires a shot at you, and your chinchilla instincts just <laughs> kick in. And quick as a chinchilla, you duck your head to the side. <laughs> You're quick. And it whiffs right past your. That your, is the saying. Is your yeah. quick, quick, big, quick, cute chinchilla. ear. Uh, he spins wildly and fires another shot at Angelica, also at a minus four. Aced Come on. it. Oh. 10 minus four is a six. That is going to hit because it is a gun. And he is not fighting your parry. Oh. That's uh, 11 with a 14. What's your toughness? Seven. Seven. All right, so you are going to take uh, one wound and be shaken unless you want to soak it. Don't you have armor? Yes, but you... that is part of my armor, I think, okay. isn't it? Because it has an asterisk here, so I assumed. Yes, that was that's armor. part of your armor. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. This one is bigger. No. Spirit. Yes, bigger. Bigger. Ugh, I was getting backwards. Mmm. That's not enough. Last Benny. <clears throat> Last Benny. That is five. That'll soak it. Yeah. Yeah. It was one it was one wound and you as as that I bullet comes half. through, time yeah, time slows down and your flaming sword just streaks out and just neatly bisects the bullet in the air. It's pretty cool. No one sees it happen but you, but still it's <laughs> way too it's way too fast for human eyes. Zach saw it. Zach, it. Zach whimpers. And then I do that and then I look at him. He still Damn. doesn't care. He's loyal. All right. Uh, and then the final shot is going at going at Tim. I hate it. Tim it. Oh, come on. Eight uh, minus five. That's a three. That's not enough. Woo! He's not gonna do it. it goes wide. Whew. Damn it, I'm empty! Zach, kill him! <laughs> <laughs> Get him! All right, uh, and Zach is gonna run up and try and last ditch ever. He's gonna wild attack and go for your throat. Yeah, he's got a plus two. Oh, he's not a wild card. I'm, I'm on Zach's side for this this one. He got a three. Oh. That's not enough. Yeah. Zach's not gonna make it. Okay. Zach's not gonna make it. And now he's gonna be Zach easier to hit. Zach actually is a little uh, impressed. <laughs> Maybe he is. He was, he was trying to hide it. Maybe it got to him. What is your parry? My parry is five. All right, uh, that guy tries to whip you in the face with the chain again, but now you're feeling a little bit better than you were before, right. and he doesn't know. <laughs> so as he does that, 
Uh, you kind of spin off to the side and try and grab his chain, which he whips back, but he looks at you warily like, oh shit, I didn't realize you were still in the fight. That's it for them. It's not looking good for the bikers. The fish people, though, are getting real antsy off from the side. <laughs> <laughs> they look like they're just waiting for an opportunity to jump in. Queen of hearts Woo! for Pip. Woo! Eight of clubs for Alex. My Two card. of clubs for Angelica. A joker. Yeah! joker. That's what we need. Wow. That's what we need. Yeah, have one of those. Have one of those. I need more bennies. Have one of those. You, you, you should have been here when the fight ball. started. That's I what we know. needed. That. And a five for the bikers. You can go at any point. You don't have to go now, Tim. Um, but if, but but I I want to. All right, then you can. So I will go ahead and um. That plus two is going to counteract that minus two. So yeah, I'm going to try and bolt uh, bolt uh, Big Dan down. Okay, one big bolt again. Yes. Okay. So again, the blood pooling out of your body coalesces into a huge glob, a jagged, sharp glob in your hand. Uh, that's a five, five which will should hit. be a hit on it, hit. since it's a ranged attack. So roll 3d6 okay. damage for me. 3d6. I will have to roll a third d6. I didn't realize I was going to need another one. No worries. So that's seven. I forgive you. Uh, seven and four is 11. Plus two from your joker. Oh, plus two, okay, so 13. 13, all right. 13. Is yeah, that's pretty high over his toughness. Uh, that is a success with a raise. Uh, so he is once again shaken and takes another wound Whew. as this thing just hits him solidly in the chest. And you hear a couple cracks from within his chest as maybe a few ribs give way. Oh, damn it! Ah, I ain't going down at the hands of the EPA! <laughs> the E B E P A! Stop rubbing it in! <laughs> All right. You're up next. Okay, I'm by Dan still, right? You are. All right, I'm just gonna. <laughs> okay, same same as before. I worked that time. Chinchilla strike. <laughs> Give me a fighting roll with your d6 for your wild okay, die. Okay, cool. A uh, four. A four? Four is not enough. There you that's go. A, that's a, yeah, let's use some of those bennies over there. Seven. Seven. That'll do it. Better. Sweet. Better. That'll do it. So then, that's not with a raise. Okay. So do your strength plus a d4. Plus d4. Cool. Oh, strength is one more up. That's right. That's right. You're a wear chinchilla now. Ooh. Uh, four plus two, six. But you aced on the d4, so you get to roll it again. Oh, that's right. So six. Plus two. Which is eight. eight. Which is enough to shake him again. He's already shaken, so he takes another wound. Big, D you j he turns to face you, and you see where his ribs are somewhat concave, and you just close your fists and powerfully punch him right there, and you feel his sternum give way under underneath, but still, Big Dan, through sheer force of will, Jeez. cold sweat breaking out on his body, he's like, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Stand down, Big Dan. Stand down. It's not worth it. Right, hand in your card. Thank you. It's worth it to Dan. Uh, you're up next, Alex. All right. Uh, uh, so I'm I'm going to seeing that my friend uh, the, the bleeding has been stopped. Yes. Uh, I'm I'm going to uh, go over to Big Dan uh, and wrap my ghostly hands around his neck and go. Shh. <laughs> okay. Ooh. So you're gonna try you're gonna try and choke him out. Gonna try to choke the life out of Dan. Give me a spirit roll first to see if you oh. can even interact with his neck. That's right. <laughs> okay. There we go. Uh, five. It's a success. Okay. <laughs> Your hands become very, very solid as they wrap around Dan's throat. So give me a fighting roll. Okay, I don't have fighting, so... Uh, this D4 is minus two. D4 minus two. And it's a minus two to the red die, too, yeah? Yes. Okay, no problem. I got this. You totally do. Oh, oh you raised it, it. You also have so many pennies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, so that is an 11 minus two is nine. That is a success, almost with a raise. Oh. Almost with a raise. Almost Give me damage. Raise. Unless okay. you want to re-roll and try and get that raise. Uh... Uh, you know, no, I'm gonna take this. Okay, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, just give me strength. Strength, okay. This is strength damage. You always keep your best roll. Just throwing But if out. you critically fail, That's you true, that. <laughs> except for that time. I'm gonna reroll. You're gonna reroll that. Use a reroll on this your one. Damage. This one is from Mostly Eric. Thank you, Mostly Eric. <laughs> That was your reroll for. He's not watching anymore. I guarantee you, he went to sleep. Uh, oh, it's worse. It's okay. worse now. So this is where spending the a Benny. Yeah, spend those Benny's. Okay. Finish this. 
Oh my gosh! Wow! Three times in a row. Come on, choke him out. It's so dramatic. Okay, come on. Are you right? He's trying to squeeze. There it is. He aced it. He aced it. For ten. Ten? Yeah. Success with a raise. So as your (laughs) ghostly hands wrap around Big Dan's throat, what do you say? Shh. No. (laughs) No. Go gently into that. You should have treated the earth better. No. As you just sink him down to the ground, (laughs) pressing your ghostly fingers into his larynx. This way is much better. Until his face purples, his eyes bulge, and staring at you, Big Dan crosses over to the other side. (laughs) Join me. As that happens, Zack and the other biker, like Zack looks over at Big Dan and just whimpers, and the other biker's like, nope. Fuck this. <laughs> and drops his <laughs> drops his chain and just runs. Are you guys gonna let him? No. <laughs> well, no, we can't leave. Can't leave witnesses. Oh. Yeah. We, All right. we we can spare Zach. Who's he gonna tell? Right. <laughs> um, well, then again, who's gonna believe him? So he's gonna take off. Uh, he's gonna have to run by you in order to get by because he's right by you. So you get a free attack against him. Oh, okay. Uh, just just a fight. normal fighting attack. Normal fighting attack. Okay. I have fighting. It's a pretty cool ghost coup de gras, by the way. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, four? Four? This, this is going to be against his parry, right? Yes. Um, I don't know. I like feel like we've either completely obliterated these guys or completely missed them. I'll stay with the four. Does it? Okay. You can re-roll, though, if you want. Yeah. <laughs> I have to let you know because you have the ability to re-roll. Oh, oh that's okay. It went out there. Yeah, no it, did. He's, it did. It went out. He's, he's yeah. consistent. Nope. Even not worse. enough. Oh, so you try and just lash out at him as he goes by, but your your side twinges painfully. The chain a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Can't get to so him. Drop the chain, and suddenly I have this dead weight in my arm. Zach just goes over and starts licking Big Dan's face. Uh, so I will give Aww. each of you one more action to try and take this guy out, or he's gonna run off and flee. Who's okay. Oh, you haven't gone yet. I haven't gone. Oh, it's your turn oh, then, okay, Angelica. Yeah. Uh, which way is he running? Like, uh, out into here? the woods, away from you. Uh, so he's like, Tim is there in front of you, and then this guy's on the other side of Tim. Okay. You can so run I'm up to him and catch him. Okay. I'm just gonna need a run roll from you. Okay. So give me a d6 roll. As long as you get more than, I was gonna say more, more than, than two. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're not gonna quite make it to him unless you want to throw you, your sword. Do you want I mean, to use the, that Benny? Is that your Benny? It is. Oh. It would be kind of fun to throw my sword, but I don't know how that would work. I can tell you how it would work. Okay. <laughs> I have that answer. Uh, that would be an athletics roll at a minus one because it's an improvised weapon. It's not meant for being thrown. It's not a javelin. I mean. Would the trademark weapon still apply? The trademark weapon would, but you do get a minus two for running. So let's see, it's minus three altogether, plus one, minus two. Throwing uh, seven minus two, you said? Mm -hmm. So five. Which is all you need for a projectile weapon. So roll damage, that's gonna be strength plus D6. Okay. As you hurl your katana through the air at this fleeing biker. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Uh, n- nine, ten. Wait, do I get my katana damage? No. Okay, so Strength nine. plus d6. Nine. Splurt. <laughs> goes, your katana goes right through him. <laughs> As uh, it doesn't happen. There's yeah. They're out of, oh. They are clearly all out of luck. <laughs> As he falls to the ground, and Zach, Zach just sits there with his tails between his legs and stares at all of you. <laughs> as the clearing Worked. grows quiet, and the fish people just stand there in shock and awe, and then finally the one you were talking to raises his arms, <laughs> and they all start raising their arms. Victory! They are very excited, and they, they come over and they like are putting their flippers on your shoulders and just rubbing your shoulders with their, their gross slimy flippers. <laughs> goes right through me. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna take forever to get out of the fur. Uh, they are all wearing weird bits of trash on on their bodies, and they they seem very happy. And then the one you were talking to looks back at the lake and sees all the trash in it, and a single tear <laughs> comes out of his bulbous eye yeah. and just rolls down his face. Oh, 
Well, should we help clean it? Perhaps we can uh, make a visit to the newspaper and tell them that they have a trash issue that needs to be dealt with, or the EPA will come and shut them down. And there will be no more visitors to this town. Right. If they are not more careful about how they dispose of their trash. That seems like a good way to maybe solve this problem, as long as they don't keep coming around and showing Long-term. themselves people right. attacking <laughs> RVs. Perhaps, perhaps you keep it on the down low, and we will talk to them and pick up the trash. And you will be happy. Hey, eh? hey, we're happy. Yeah, yes, yes, we talk yes. to them. Yeah. Mm, on the down low. Right. Yeah, Although, right? I'm concerned where they're going to get their clothes, but I guess that is an And they all dive back into the water. But the one you had been talking to stops for just a moment and walks over to you, Pip. Still in chin form. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. Go. Goodbye. He reaches out his flipper and just <laughs> briefly touches the end of your chinchilla claw. And then... Turns sadly and dives back into the water. (laughs) On the way back, you guys stop by the newspaper office after taking some time to reprint your extreme uh, branch EPA paperwork. Yeah. Uh, I also, um, I want to arrange the bodies so it looks like there's a falling out among the Mm, bikers. I figure one of them probably has a knife, which we'll put in the wound. And they have some guns. Right. They just shoot their corpses (laughs) and make it look like Um, they all killed each other. I'm also going to uh, avail myself of this blood supply to satisfy the craving. Mm. Yum. When in Rome. I mean, it's just just lying. It's just, <laughs> right, it's just gonna go to waste, so <laughs> they don't need it anymore. Just a quick sip, just a quick sip. Right, right. Uh, all right, and uh, you stop by, you strong arm the newspaper, let them know, hey, you can't let this trash get like that, or we're gonna shut down your town, festival or no. Yeah, the lake is closed. And you feel like you made your point. You all pile back into your RV, smelling somewhat like sewage, somewhat like lake water, somewhat like sweat and exertion and a hard day's work, but you did what you came here to do. You restored balance to this ecosystem, and God willing in the creek don't rise. (laughs) These fish people are not gonna be any problem for the people of Walnut Creek again. Time to set out for the open road. Shouldn't maybe we shower before we- Nope, no time. Time to set out for the open road (laughs) and await your next instructions. Let's get out of here. From the headquarters of Bureau 13. And that is where we will end it tonight. Well Woo! done, guys. Nice job. Thank you guys for sticking with us. Thank you yes, for thank all you. of your subs. Yes, thank thank you, you for the uh, the tips and the unlocks. Uh, you guys gave them a free pass. If they got discovered, they were going to get one free pass to get out of a bad situation. Oh. But they didn't need it. They did so well, but they had that option. Thanks very thank much you to you. So much. And you also gave the fish people the ability to communicate. So thank you guys for that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. It would have yeah. been so much more difficult without that. Uh, we already thanked the Rocky Mountain Savages, but Bureau 13 is a group effort. Not just the Rocky Mountain Savages, but also TriTac Legacy and Longshot Productions. All together, they're the ones who are bringing Bureau 13 to Savage Worlds. You can find out more information on their website at savagethenightfantastic.com and be sure to check out their Kickstarter coming in September of 2019. Uh, Really quickly, everyone, uh, let them know who you are. Let them know where they can find you before we head out of here. We'll start over here. I'm Ashlyn Rose again. You can find me on Twitter at Ashlyn Rose, on Instagram at RAR, it's Ashlyn, and on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Ashlyn underscore Rose. Yes. I am am, uh, Tyler Rhodes. You can find me at Boring Old Tyler and all those things, the Instagrams and the whatnots. So you can find him there. Uh, I'm Megan Caves. You can find me on Twitter at Megan Caves. And uh, you can find me on Friday nights here on Wild Cards and also um, on my own Twitch channel, uh, twitch.tv slash Bat Caves 63. I'm teaching yoga tomorrow at 10 a.m. Oh, if you'd like awesome. to join me. Ooh. Yeah. So. 10 a.m. Pacific time. Level up your decks. Uh, I am Nick Levy. I am at Sungrella on all of the things. Uh, 
Twitter is probably the best place if you're going to follow me with that. Um, or Nick Levy on Facebook. I will friend you probably, and I will tweet you occasionally. He's and he'll love friend. you eternally. Yes. <laughs> uh, my name is Jordan Capes Callerman. You can find me on Twitter at Jordan Callerman. And then also I will be running uh, the season two premiere of Wild Cards ETU this Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific time Ooh. here on uh, Saving Throw. So if you enjoy Savage Worlds and you want to see some more of it, that's a good time to check in. But if you don't enjoy Savage Worlds, we got all kinds of other stuff happening here on the channel. We have the premiere of a new mini campaign tomorrow night. It's going to be a D&D campaign. Oh. Uh, and we will reveal details tomorrow on our social media accounts. So Ooh. follow us there to keep an eye on it and check back here tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Pacific time for that. That's with Abria Iyengar. Oh, I was going to ask you about that. Wait, we uh, announce it? And then on Saturday, June 22nd, this coming Saturday, we're going to be doing our all-day longest day marathon to raise money for the oh, Alzheimer's yeah. Association to help in the fight against Alzheimer's. It's a uh, it's a cause near and dear to a lot of our hearts here at Saving Throw, and a event that we have done for the past five years, I think. Yeah, uh, I think it's so. always a lot yeah. of fun. It's going to go mm -hmm. all day from 9 a.m. to midnight, mm -hmm. uh, Pacific time, of course. Um, so come check that out, uh, and if you're so inclined, uh, donate to a good cause. Uh, spread the word about it, too. If you know anyone who's been affected by Alzheimer's, you can use the hashtag STS versus ALZ on any social network. Uh, share your story, and we might be highlighting some of those stories during the marathon. Yeah if you're interested. Uh, so definitely check that out. Big thanks to Dom for running everything behind Woo! the camera. A final thanks again to the Rocky Mountain Savages for letting us run this game for you. And uh, definitely do check it out if it seems like your thing, guys. There is a lot of fun stuff to be mined from it. Until next time, we will leave you with a kind wave. So nice to see you. Thanks for stopping by.